Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. The Deuce. That's right. A landmark release. The sequel to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. That's what we're here to play. I'm Jeff Gersman. Brad Shoemaker's here. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Pretty good. Great. Ben Pack over there. Old two drinks, we call them. I got two... Two drinks! drinks. One for the hot and one for yeah, the cold. Yeah, uh-huh. fire and ice over there. Wow. That's, uh... Do like you, Zelda. Link, yeah. to the, uh-huh. link to the time. You ever put ice cubes into coffee? Like, you get a coffee, it's too hot? I had a friend who did yeah. that. And it was always just like, ah, I need ice water. I yeah. usually now just let it sit. I like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I need to get You've a coffee You've learned a patience. minutes before yeah. I actually want to drink the coffee. Smart. Smart. Um, so yeah, we're here to play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for the PlayStation. I brought a PlayStation uh, so that we might do that. It's a PlayStation. It's a PlayStation. It's, a P- it's the, the slim, it's the small, the smallie, the small guy, PS- the little one. X? PS1. The PSX was a PlayStation 2 with a DVR built in. Okay. I'm going to watch on this screen. Yeah, me too. Uh, this screen is way cooler. Yeah, it's way closer. I can turn up, we can actually have sound coming out and everything. Um, so yeah, gosh, Tony Hawk 2. I don't remember a whole lot about the run-up to this game's release. Like with Tony Hawk 1, when that was coming out, there was like interest. And Rockstar was doing a skateboarding game at the same time, Thrasher, Skate, and Destroy. Ooh. So there was like a Tony Hawk and Thrasher thing of like, oh man, everyone's making skateboarding games all of a sudden that are trying to be authentic instead of like racing games. Oh, Thrasher, that's that sweatshirt company. Right? Yeah, they are the sweatshirt company. that They're based around here. Um, and so at the time, it was like, oh, well, I don't know. Thrasher seems more sim-oriented. It seems like way more grounded and cool. But then, like, no, Tony Hawk blew it out of the water. I, I was like the lone person who was like, Thrasher seems like the better one uh, coming out of E3 that year. And I was wrong. <laughs> um, Thrasher, not a bad game. We'll take a look at it uh, down the line here. But uh, so whatever. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater came out, was a pretty wild success. And they immediately set to make it an annual franchise. Um, we covered all these games back then. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I mean, I did. You you were not quite in the game yet I, at this point. This was been like 99, 2000. My internship started three months after Tony Hawk 2 got announced. Okay. According to GameSpot.com, uh-huh. one Amir Ajami ah. says that Tony Hawk 2 was announced on February 22nd, 2000. Okay. And then it would release at the end, of, around the end of that year. Tony Hawk One came out in '99, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess what? I guess it was annual, so they. Yeah, would've... the release date was uh, September twentieth, two thousand. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it eventually became more of an October franchise, mm. but. Hey, you're gonna play as that Tony Hawk guy? I don't know. I think you can. Uh, is, I, th- I want to say you can assign tricks in this one, so maybe I have a little more leeway Oops. about uh, about who I play as. Uh, Johnny Mullen, Chad Muska. Muska man. A lot of the same. The, the pretty similar roster. Uh, I'm gonna go with Bob Burnquist. What? Look at that hat! Yeah, it looks like a new radical. Yeah, this was 2000 when you could be a new radical. What, or I could go with style B. I don't remember what style A looked like. Style A looks like the photo. Oh yeah, I like A, I think. Okay, <clears throat> all right. What's a skater doing wearing glasses? I mean, you gotta be able to see. Oh, okay. It's just, you gotta line up tricks, you gotta do stuff. What if those I, things, what if they fly off? Well, you get, you get the kind with the strap around the back okay. that, like, you know, athletes would wear. You don't, you don't do the NBA player goggle thing? You, I, I bet some skaters probably have done that. Yeah. Uh, and some of these, like, transitions between menus are so low. I always jump in. We don't have any money to buy anything anyway. We can always come back and look at the stats stuff later. Um, so Tony Hawk 2 introduced the concept of money yeah. uh, to the world. Basically. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. It was all downhill Thanks. from yeah, there. It's it's working out great. Um, Mullet falls, huh? Yeah. Um, and so you earn money for completing goals. There's money to be found in the levels. And then you can use that money to buy more stat points and tricks and stuff boards. like that. Boards. Yeah. 
uh, which the stats were tied to what level, like how many tapes you had gotten in the previous game. Uh, so this was a little more free form in terms of, of what you could do. And yeah, uh, you know, more uh, more goals per level. Out, uh, there's like a sexy lady. There's a, there. has a lady over there. We got three score goals. We got to collect skate. Uh, we got to get the barrels. We got to collect the wings. We have to do a nose grind over the pipe. We have to hit the three hang time gaps. Uh, a uh, nose grind over the pipe. Uh -huh. I don't know what you're uh, saying. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh huh. Dr no. It's like two what? different drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you have to hit the three hang time gaps. Gaps became a more formal thing here uh, than they were in the previous game. Secret tape, and then uh, another goal for getting all the goals. Dude, I, oh. know where, I know where the secret tape is on this one. Really? You know where, <clears> where, <throat> it, where is it? It's like in the back middle. Okay. Some some of those are like level specific goals now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they they definitely had level specific goals before, but it was like, there's your nose grind over the pipe. There's one of the barrels. Oh, uh, I think I can. Yeah, I can mash to get up a little faster. Here, I want to say that, that that was the first time you could do that, because I don't think you could do it last time. I played a considerable amount of the Game Boy Advance version of this. It's a great game. Yeah. You get kind of like a two, like a top-down perspective instead of behind the back. Yeah. It works. But this was before they felt the need to put a, like a grind meter on screen to tell you how your balance is doing. Uh, okay, got one of the score goals here. There's a set of wings over here on this. And we did a grind on that, which opened up this little secret area in there. Uh, okay, that's one of the gaps, so we know that for probably next time at this point. Tony Hawk 2 is probably the one I've gone back to the least. Huh. Uh, which is not to say that I think it's like a bad game or anything. It just kind of worked out that way. Where's the E? <clears throat> uh, I'm in the chat where people are already talking about this being the game that introduced to the manual. Yes. Uh, what is, what? what? Uh, it's like What's doing a wheelie. Manual? Okay. Yeah. Uh, on a skateboard. Is it up back? Uh, yeah, or it's it's up down or down up, depending on whether you want to which which manual you want to do. <clears throat> Does it have some utility like? Oh yeah. yeah. Can it be chained or something? Yeah. So it's the idea of like now you can link your tricks between locations, okay. so you can kind of manual from one thing you're skating on to the next. Okay. And keep your combo going. Where are those barrels? Are they? Oh, are they inside? There's my... one in the secret tape area. Uh, yeah. You're probably right. And I didn't get the helicopter to take off. Correct so. me if I'm wrong. Unless it's in here. But. Is the special, if you have higher special meter, do you have like more top speed, more balance and stuff I like that? I want to say when you're special, you, mm, I don't know if this, if that's this game or, or not, but. Not bad, four tapes. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're just goals now, they're not even tapes. Right. What are the rules here? Doing everything on every level? Yeah, that's, that's the idea. I don't know that I'm going to get all the cash, because uh, that's a hassle. Um, that's your name. Yeah, career A is my name. No, I was just, I'd had this weird moment where I was like, oh man, they predicted the announcement of Gears of War 4 right here. It's crazy. They're like, first of all, there's going to be something called the Gears of War. After that, <laughs> planting seeds, man. That's what video games are all about. You didn't beat Jamie's score. Damn it. Um, maybe I'll spend some cash. I wonder if people can hear the construction happening. Yeah, there's construction happening uh, level down. Um... I know when we were recording that Lethal League thing that some of that definitely had the to pick drill. up. It was fucking loud as hell. Uh, look at that slow ass transition. Why? All right. If I, if I remember from the first game, you don't have to get everything in one run. No, you do not. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, he's got shit rail balance. Yeah. That's, I think that's the one stat I would always that was always first. Way. It was just like that's gonna that's gonna do you some good stuff. Wait, the first game had none of that, right? Right. No. Uh, you you Jeez, were... every every three levels or so after every competition you would unlock higher stats basically. Um, and also we can now modify uh, which tricks we do and and where they are and stuff like that. So Benny Han has got to be down right. Uh, and then we can put the indie stiffy onto down left, which is what was there before, uh, or what was uh, what was on down right before. 
Penny Hot has got to be down right. Yeah. It's just, it's how I have to have it as a person. Uh, okay, what do we got? Okay, we got a slide here on an up-down triangle. What lip tricks do you know? What what skate tricks do I know? Lip tricks. Oh, lip tricks. Uh, lip tricks, like a, like a, like a. Okay, yeah. Like you get a tattoo. Uh, on your lip, and then oh yeah, that's like an oh that's a, yeah no that's that's good stuff. I have more tongue tricks than lip tricks, honestly, but they didn't add tongue tricks to Tony Hawk for a while. <clears throat> Tie the cherry stem. Yeah, that whole thing, that old chestnut. Yeah. Uh, you ever classic. actually earnestly tried doing that? Oh, hey, I have no idea how you would possibly. Oh, yeah, I, really I, can't, I, can't, I can't even imagine how one would do it. You gotta like the first step is to like curve it into kind of a C. Okay. And then you just want to make it as close to like a circle as you can. Okay. You have to use like, your teeth. You have to kind of brace yeah, against you have your to teeth like a lot. Curl it against okay. your teeth. Okay. I've never successfully done it, Damn. but how many times would you estimate you've tried to do it? Three, maybe four, like serious attempts. Okay. How's the soundtrack in this? Uh, a little more diverse uh, than Tony Hawk One, just uh, genre-wise. Um, a little less pop. Um, yeah. Or hip-hop, if I'm remembering correctly. Right, yeah. yeah. Seems like it. I, the dub pistols are on this soundtrack. I watched a short documentary thing about music in the 90s the other day. Uh-huh. And... I guess I didn't realize growing up at the time how much resentment there was in the hip-hop community toward, like, like the death row sound, and then... Oh, sure. And then after... Basically once, like, Puffy just turned... Turned it into like party time all the time. Like, right, yeah, like, the silver suits and all that shit. Like the consciousness went out of Yep. Out of the genre <laughs> yep. in a way that pissed people off a lot. Yeah. That's, that's I'd say that's You know, it was time for something new though at the same oh, yeah. time. Like I sure. Oops. The old guard is always going to resent the new school. Exactly. <clears throat> Nick Rowell says, hip-hop added a ska not introduced yet? Was there a ska in the first one? Yeah, there was like pop punk with a ska. Like Goldfinger you know. is ska adjacent, I yeah. would say. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's two of the three hang time gaps. This is one of them. But I already got uh, that over. one. Is it over the chopper, basically? Is it this? Yeah. So I remember I never had enough speed in my first runs to get it. There we go. There we go. Still missing some barrels. I don't know where they are. Yeah. He's dead. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we need the wings, we need the barrels, we need the score. School two. School two. Probably my favorite Tony Hawk level of all time. Hmm. I only played one, two, and three, but that's a that's a good. Those are those are great games. That's a series on the rise, adding huge <laughs> new things. Uh, oh, that that's where the pilot wings are. They're right there. So, Jeff, I gotta say, after the last stream, watching you play this, I was inspired. Yeah. I... Ooh, I was inspired. I wanted to learn how to skate. Yeah. I was like, fucking, this looks so fun. I mean, you wouldn't be the first person that, like, got into Tony Hawk and then decided you wanted to try actual skateboarding. Yeah. Um, but then I remembered how much of a clumsy dipshit I am. Mm. And that you also I'd, wouldn't be the first person who was a clumsy dimshit who tried to skate from video games and, and ran into some issues. Minorly too serious, moderately injured themselves. Uh, so I decided, what's the next best thing? To learn how to skateboard. Drug habit? What I, is uh, what? the next best thing? Whoa. Y'all ever fuck with these? A tiny skateboard. Uh, these are colloquial, this is a tech deck brand. Uh -huh. but colloquially known as fingerboards. These were, so Jan and I were, were trying to figure this out. Were they a thing before like, I would say 2001, 
dish. I bought my first fingerboard uh, when I was in junior high school. Okay. In like 88-ish. Wow, yeah, so fingerboards. Uh, the first ones, <clears throat> uh, the, I remember the first ones anyway, being keychains. Oh. Uh, and so you would bust the keychain part of it off and then go like, all right, now we need to get some grip tape and cut it really small and put it on this thing. Um, so I, I started to think about things and kind of my life and fingerboarding and I decided to commit myself to learning how to become a fingerboard master. And it's not easy. These things are fucking tricky to use. Can you give a demonstration? Like, can I ollie? Or, or not or... reliably, but basically what you really want to do is you, you get your fingers on there uh -huh. and you push down on the back. As if as, your fingers were feet. Yes. You push down and simultaneously slide this finger up to kind of get a little bit of friction going. And ideally you can get off the ground. And kind of, can you do it? Are you? Fuck no. Wow. I, I assumed those things were just like like Hot Wheels for skateboards. Oh no, I dude. know people like did fucking tricks on them. If like, you go to the official Tech Deck YouTube channel, which was started in 2010, uh, that was close. Mm. Um, you'll see all sorts of like beginner to advanced. They like give you oh. tutorials of, like start on your leg and like do this. And I've been working my way up and kind of learning how to how to do fingerboarding. But I I really wanted to take it to the next level. That's so. smart. It's, it's uh, yeah. Before you've mastered level one, go right to level two. <laughs> right out the gate here, I'm going to be spending some of this stream here Whoa. building what I consider to be the ultimate. Fingerboarding experience. And I need some of this. Fingerboard park. Yes. Okay. So, I brought some tools. Uh-huh. I got a, what do we got here? Got a knife, hot glue gun. Whoa. Markers for design, very important yeah, part. Yeah, no, you know, definitely. You're gonna wanna like yeah, tag it up and stuff. Absolutely gonna have to have some. Scissors, some more hot glue. I, I got this cardboard box. I got some more just, cardboard. Can we just hot glue stuff for a while? Yeah, I'm just gonna go to town here. Let's hot glue some stuff. Let's hot glue. Don't hot I glue gotta, I gotta let it warm up. Right. Pull the desk. Don't hot glue the desk? You said hot glue this to the desk? No. What if we just had a permanent fixture that was... A piece of cardboard. Yes. That'd be nice. Ugh. Okay. Oh, this doesn't reach all the way. <clears throat> People in the chat are very excited about fingerboards. Uh, fingerboards are cool. So uh, I bought that. That's this. I bought this fingerboard from the Toys R Us when it was closing. Okay. Uh, I was walking around Toys R Us, going like, "There's got to be something here for me." Yeah. Uh, that's cheap enough that I feel okay about buying. How much was that thing? I don't remember. All right. So I just needed the score and the cash. So I'm gonna be over here working on this. If chat has any suggestions on what they'd like to see yeah. represented, or oh, like... so there's no plan here, no pre-made. No, I mean I've got. No, this isn't like a cooking show. He doesn't like. He's not. Doesn't can't reveal the completed device now. Yeah, I've just kind of got some cardboard and some stuff, and I'm gonna see what happens. And hopefully by the end of this stream, I've got a working skate park. Right. Oops, not my greatest trick. Thirty thousand points is pretty good for one trick. I remember the first time I hit a hundred thousand. Yeah. Holy shit! I think I was in the back of my mom's Ford Aerostar on our way to the Russian River, and I screamed, <laughs> and she swerved because she thought something was happening to me. Something was happening to you. You became a man that day. <laughs> I think it was on the New York level. Okay, I needed to try to clear that out of the way. Ah. And it's try to get there. up here. Did that helicopter just crash? Uh, it, it went through the ceiling. Ah. It seems like it would be bad for the helicopter. Eh, helicopters. Maybe they're resilient after all. See, I, okay, I gotta try to. Can I get there from this ramp next to it? I always thought you had to kinda, oh, well, screwed that up. Oh boy. There's money up here. This one's actually bigger okay. than the GBA one. It didn't have that little back area. 
Oh, the, the GBA stopped here? It didn't go over through the window, you mean? No, it didn't have the, the area to the left, or to the right of where you initially dropped down. Oh, okay. I imagine it was like a memory issue. I don't remember. Uh, all right, so that's all the goals, but not all the cash. What's, so maybe, what's up with the cash? Uh, I mean, you spend it on stats and stuff like no, that. No, there's I mean, there's like, just like, floating cash around the level oh, to it's collect. Just, it's just collection stuff. Yeah. Um, not worth it. I mean, worth it, definitely, <clears throat> but... Well, uh, for the purpose of but, the stream. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll move on instead of me trying to line up shots to jump on the lights up top. And if I end up burning through everything, maybe I'll come back and uh, clean up the cash. God, I don't like Spider-Man, you know? Is this one the one with Darth Maul? No, this is the Spider-Man one. Okay. Ah. Yeah. The first time they had a an external guest character, uh, because Neversoft developed that Spider-Man game. Okay, school two. We got a wall ride five bells, collect five hall passes, kick flip TC's roof gap. Oh, TC. Uh, grind the three roll call rails, find the tape, get the goals and the cash. So this kind of thing is like you don't really know what the roll call rails are until you find one. Uh, they're not really called out in the level in huh. any way. Until you grind on it? Yeah. Oh. What was that? That was me trying to wall ride that bell. Oh, that's a bell? Okay. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was a poop emoji. <laughs> oh, yeah, they invented and money like, and the poop emoji. That doesn't make and sense at all. And Gears of War 4. Uh, this game, uh, this song here is also featured in um, Johnny Mosley's Mad Tricks. Okay. I love when I was in high school and all the preps would spray paint preppy on the school. They were like marking their own territory. It wasn't like other people were doing it as like a sick burn. No, it was. We're the preps and you don't know what's up. Uh, somebody earlier was asking if this game has, quote, that Anthrax and Chuck D song in it, which I assume means Bring the Noise. Yeah, uh, I think this is the one that has it. Okay. I'm not sure. That's a good song. I think that's one of the rails. I might have to hit all of it and get the gap for it to count. I don't remember. All right, 40 seconds. Uh, realistically, I'm not going to be able to find the other two bells, but let's uh, head over here. How oh, that drawing is intense. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. like pushing the boundaries of the place. Like 30 wall. feet in front of you is just a cliff into the abyss, and then there's more school. Well, if you think about it, like, this was kind of one of the last big PS1 games. Oh, yeah, you're right. 3 was on PS2? Yeah. Okay. Like, if you, if you go back and read that story from, like, the it was like a preview or, or, or the, the first preview that we ran on it. Like, it's, ask, it's, it's saying, like, no word if there's going to be a PlayStation 2 version of this or not. Huh. Like, already at that point, we were asking, like, hey, is this going to be a game that also comes to PS2? Oh, was this on the Dreamcast? Yeah, it came, yeah, to, it it came to Dreamcast. That was a good version of the game. But I don't like the D-pad and stuff on the Dreamcast as much for this yeah, that's specific a, series. Yeah, that's, so. that's the last line of this announcement story. Activision made no mention of a PlayStation 2 version of Pro Skater 2. Right, yeah. Uh... The, the bummer was playing these games on an N64. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's a terrible... Well, whatever. I mean, the N64 D-pad is passable. Like, it has the buttons, right? Yeah. But the, the music... Yeah. Ooh. What do they do? Do they just try to digitize it and cram it in there? So they turn them all into um, samples, and then so they don't have the full lyrics to the song. Uh, so they just try to take loops out of the song and and make it make sense where they can. Cool. And so in Tony Hawk 3, when you get to Ace of Spades, it's just like multiple bars or multiple times throughout the song of Lemmy saying, and don't forget the Joker, over and over again in a way that's like fucking ridiculous. Uh, kind of amazing. Um, all right, let's get a better ollie. We're going to want to be able to jump up. 
Not sure I understand, but there's some people asking about the Xbox version? Yeah, so Tony Hawk 2X. Tony Hawk's yeah, Pro okay. Skater yeah. 2X came out for yes. the Xbox. Uh, and it was kind of a hybrid of one and two, if I oh. remember right. Of like, they took levels from one and levels from two and kind of crammed them into the same space. Mm. Uh, and combine them and stuff. Well, I, yeah, well, I, I want to take a look at that because, man, I have not that, played that game that since like, it was brand new. Yeah, I want to look that up. I've never even heard of that. Uh, I remember Microsoft feeling very proud of themselves about having an exclusive Tony Hawk <laughs> game on their platform. Exclusive. Uh, Hot glue in. How's the hot glue? How's that hot glue? It's hot. Man, no. Oh, okay. That sounds, like, sounds so fun. Okay. Let's try and get the hall passes, I guess. There's one right here. One right here. Oh. It's so hot, I can feel it through the cardboard. Damn it. O2X was an Xbox launch game? Yeah. And I remember like that E3 where Xbox games were playable, but not a lot of Xbox games were playable. I, I seem to remember that one being out there. A 7.7 to 2X. Not a graphical showpiece for the Xbox, says this review. Is that reviewer me? Yes. All right, we just need one hall pass. Let's try and find it. You guys like crafting? Uh, is crafty? No, I'm super not crafty. Jan says yes. What's okay? What's the uh, what's the opposite of a maker? A destroyer. Taker. That's me. I, I go to Taker Fair, <laughs> uh, and I buy things that other people made, which actually, weirdly enough, is just Undertaker cosplay at Taker at Taker Fair. All right, I don't know where that fifth fucking hall pass is. There's one on a roof somewhere. Oh, no, no, I don't think I got a roof one. Found one of the roll call rails. I did. No, I was about to ask if that was a Dolby shirt, but. So there's got to be like a sensible run through this level that takes you past all the hall passes, right? So we get this one. Yeah, that's like the level design in these games sometimes goes underappreciated of like, there's a very clear skate route, there's a very clear objective route. There's like, uh, you know, one that'll bring you to all the different rails and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, do you need to get into the gym? Uh, for the hall passes, you mean? Yeah. I don't remember. Or at all? I don't remember. It sounds like there is a specific trick to getting into the gym. Uh, there was a rail I did grind back there that was called the Open Says Me Rail. Yes, this, so this says you have to do that. Is. There's the last hall pass. This says you have to do that within 20 seconds after starting the level to get the door to open to the gym. Mm. I don't remember if you actually need to do it or not uh, to do anything. Maybe that's where the hidden tape is or something. Oh. Wall rides were a little finicky. They were Whoa. still new at this point, and, or newish, and, and wall rides became a lot easier later. Get up, man. Okay, so we got... The 
gym is not necessary. I mean, okay. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember having to go in there to do stuff. He's like a guy driving a golf cart. I don't know. It's his deal. It's a dick. <clears throat> Okay. You need to spell skate. And wall ride those bells. Right. Oh, you got the cash. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't get all the cash. Oh, wait. No. You get cash for every goal you complete. Oh, okay. Um, and then there's a bonus for getting all the collectible oh, cash I around never, the Never mind. I was level, totally yeah. misreading that. Yeah. Who do I think TC is? I don't know. I feel like at one point I probably did know that. Uh, TC Carson? Yeah. Probably. Uh, roll call rails, bells, skate. Let's focus on the bells. I feel like I found four of the bells. The career of Richard Belzer. Let's talk about it. Um, he plays uh, Munch. Yep, he sure does. In like 12 different things. Yep. Wait. Oh, here it is. Yep. Oh. Did you hot glue yourself to the table? I hot glued my thumb. It's gonna happen a lot. Good work. It's very warm. Oh, it's, I mean, it's not called warm glue. Talk glue. But the good news is. We have ourselves. Mm. My first entry ramp here. Figure, you know, you gotta have like a spawn area. Yeah, totally. Uh, Spawn loves skateboard. He loves skateboarding and playing Soul Calibur. Who is he main? Uh, Hayachi. Oh, weird. I mean, he only has a PlayStation. Okay, yeah. I just figured he would have been more of like a Mitsurugi guy. Seems a little basic. Make the giant, I'm gonna draw the giant bomb logo on this ramp. Uh, I like that you're decorating as you go instead of saving that, saving that for the end. It's wise. Is it? Oh, yeah. Enemy Mouse says, I miss Lenny Briscoe. You and me both. We all do. We all do. <laughs> the world Is that needs... Lenny, Lenny? Lenny? Who's Lenny Briscoe? Oh, it's the Jerry Orbach character. Oh, yes. The world, the world could use more. Lenny Briscoe. I saw some delightful photos of uh, a Facebook friend of mine with a car that I might be his. Might be Jerry Orbox? Uh, no, it might be his own car oh. covered in Jerry Orbox. Okay. Of a Brandon Bird variety. Yes, okay. Sure. Uh, All right, the secret tape was something where you have to get up onto these awnings, if I remember right. Uh, Yep. Okay. Let's spell skate. Uh, it's S K A T E. Done. No. Easy. It's S K. Next. And the number eight. Uh, Ezekiel Perger says TC is probably a dev at NeverSoft named Chris Team Chicken Roush. Wait. Team Chicken, huh? I'm on Team Chicken. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I can fuck with Team Chicken. It's the most versatile meat. Unless it's like Team Chicken versus Team Sport. Mm. And you would against other animals. I have a harder time. I'm not good at drawing. Me neither. I feel like I'm doing this all wrong. I'm spelling skate all wrong. I don't think I have any of the letters. Oh. Well, if we got the E first, then clearly we're... Let's do it backwards. And then A is over here. And 
pay is up here. All right, which way would take me back to the beginning of the level? Because that's got to be closer to where the S is. Is it this way? Oh, is it? Is that the one that's like kind of on the roof up here? all the way back at the beginning? Alright, there's one of your roll call rails. We, pe we spelled Kate. She's a nice lady. Yeah. Were you following the El Barto thing at all? No. Uh, are you familiar with El Barto's works? No. He was a graffiti artist. Okay. Um, I don't know if he was based in Santa Rosa, but that's the first place I ever saw his stuff. Okay. And then it started popping up around here. Um, and he would just draw a... Bart Simpson head, but with an extra eye and a four on the forehead. That's kind of his signature tag. Mm -hmm. And they caught him. Maybe they tracked down El Barto. Late last year, they found El Barto. It was this like 50 year old dude. He was just like, I just like drawing this Bart. <clears throat> anything, sure. anything ever happened with that Banksy painting that self destructed? I think it's self destructed. Mm -hmm. Okay. People, Pro probably the shreds of it are worth even more money people, somehow. People were coming up with all kinds of crazy theories, like we could actually spit out a second pre-shredded painting, and that the original painting was still embedded in the frame somewhere hmm. and stuff. But I don't. Know. Saw a headline this morning that uh, said he thought it was going to completely shred or something, which I didn't know it didn't completely shred. Like he didn't spit all the way out. Yeah. That's hard for you. Never behaves like you think it will. No. It's like it's dry. Uh, Scroll Courier asks, why are all those lockers outside? Is that normal in the U.S.? Not where I went to high school. Uh, yeah, I had, out I had outdoor lockers. An outside locker? Mm -hmm. Damn. I mean, they were in like a... They were in cages piece. that you could you know, like lock up during the summer and stuff like that. Huh. But, yeah. Was your school mostly connected, like all the buildings? No. My, oh, was, oh, right, yeah. Yeah, we had... Two, Were you a mostly three. indoor school? Uh, we had like two or three separate buildings. Yeah, our high school was mostly outdoors. Still no like, sticker slap. I would say maybe 12 different little buildings connected. Did you guys, yeah. Did you guys decorate your locker? I never used them. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the problem we had is our lockers, you could pop them open. So if you, you know, they had combination locks on them already, but if you, you would take four, your four st strong fingers and just go, pa on the, 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 the raising mechanism, you sure. know, the part that wasn't supposed to move unless the locker was, the combination was entered. Right. And if you did that hard enough, or did, sometimes you have to do enough times, every locker was different, but there were people who could just walk down a row of lockers and just go, pop, pop, <laughs> pop, pop, huh. and, and knock them all open. Okay. Uh, I got to be pretty good at it. Uh, and so you would just do that. You would just open everyone's locker. Like, I never took anything, but you just, someone would come back and be like, oh, now the lockers are open again. And so everyone, you know, had a hole in it so you could get your own combination lock. So you, eventually you're just like, okay, don't, don't rely on their shit-ass locks. In fact, break their lock more <laughs> so you don't have to enter two combination locks. Basically, it's like you, you started popping your own locker. You're just like, okay, I need to take my combination lock off, right? I think I had a key lock. And then pop it open to, to get it open. Um, or just carry a duffel bag with all your books in it and never use your locker. Yeah, I, I always had all my books in my backpack. It was probably killer on my body. Yeah, that's, but a lot, that's a lot of books. I also didn't always bring my books. I wasn't necessarily the best student. Yeah, to... same. I did, I did a whole lot of homework in the like five to ten minutes before class. Oh yeah. I would have teachers that would like would would assign homework every day, but only collect one at the end of the week. And so I would just like play the percentages on that, and do like two of the homeworks or three. You know, like okay, last week he's Thursday, so he's not going to take Thursday again. Uh, and then sometimes he would take Thursdays. I had a teacher I actually had him two years in a row uh, for math, 
geometry and algebra too. And one day, somebody made the discovery that you only read, read the first and last problem of their homework to see like if it was right. And it literally didn't matter what you could put in between. So you know, you, you do homework on graph paper, yeah, and you yeah. have a page and a half of equations sure. and whatnot. And so we got to the point where we were so bold that we were putting like smiley faces and stuff in equations and just like random numbers and letters and getting full credit. I'm actually really proud of how this is going. All right, I don't think that's the rail. We're looking for our third rail here. It's a Power Man 5000, isn't it? The only time I would go near the lockers ah! was... Jesus. That uh, guy ran me over and gave me shit about it. Uh, I would go to my friend Bennett's locker because he sold candy and sodas out of it. Made a killing of that. I did okay in elementary school selling um, gum dingers. Okay, yeah. What's that? It was like a, a lollipop-esque uh, with no stick and it had gum inside. It's like a cherry flavored ball. All right. You'd suck on for a while and then it's eventually. Not bad. You get a close up. I want to say. Oh, you got it. I was going to say the mouth was backwards, but nope. That's, that's correct. It's, it's the bomb. This drawing's the bomb. <laughs> that's sick. Yep. Thanks. It's my tag. Mm. I'm <clears throat> El Bombo. Uh, my neighbor sold uh, gotchas and warheads. Do you guys have those? Do you guys have gotchas? Gotchas. No. Just like the most insanely sour candy on the planet. Like um, worse than warhead? Wait, were warheads sour? Yeah. Warheads were hot, I thought. Yeah, like I thought warheads were hot. hot. Yeah. No, we had... Warheads were like sour... They had like a little powder on the outside and they were sour for like 15 seconds and then it was just mm. a normal hard candy. Maybe I'm thinking about something else, but that's what a gotcha was. Okay. Where I live. Do you guys have um, baka? It was like a spray. It was like a banaka. Banaka. Oh yeah. yeah, I've heard. Of, yeah, I've heard of that stuff. Yes, kids were way into banaka. Yeah. I was like, oh, I gotta get my breath smelling good for girls. Like, dude, we're eleven. <laughs> gotta get my breath smelling good for girls, but also I have terrible bo and refuse to wear deodorant. Yeah. <laughs> All right, school two. Got to get that score. Got to find that third rail. Got to get that tape. Okay, maybe we can think about the, the rail stuff logically too. Like if there's a pathway through the level, because it's this rail here. Oh, it's this one. No? No. Uh, Vinny Bushes says we are thinking of Atomic Fireball. I think... Who's thinking of Atomic Fireball? I think us. I think the hot one. I think is what he's talking about. I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't much care for hot candy or yeah. sour candy, so I, I like I'm not. A, I'm not definitely not like a an expert on warheads. I just remember. I seem to remember warheads being like cinnamony hot things. But yeah, I'm. I'm probably totally wrong. Hmm. Uh, what are you looking for right now? I'm looking for the third uh, have roll a, call rail. I have a hint on that. Yeah, okay. You want it? Yeah. But they're not sure. Rasputin27 says, I think the third rail is over near where you get the E. Okay, maybe I need to skate down because the, the some of the gaps can be directional. Um, and there is that one rail over there that I seem to remember hitting for some reason when I played this 18 years ago. Uh, okay, yeah, here it is. You hit it up here, and then hit the rail, and and skate down it that way. You have to skate down the rail, not up the rail. You need to let the rail skate you. Yeah, there we go. Oop. It's 
textures just warping and fucking popping and doing the weird perspective thing that PlayStation games did. Oh, I was gonna ask about that drawing. Um, is it know, bad? Yes, it is. Do you know if uh, do you know if there's been any emulator work to try to address that the way that people mm. have fixed like the vertex warping and some of that other stuff? So they fixed the vertex stuff and, the, and that perspective stuff. Yeah. Um, in in a lot of games, it's not perfect, but, but I would imagine the draw-in stuff is the a lot draw in, harder. No, because it's yeah, because I, I think it's just literally not being put into memory yeah. until it's needed. So like you'd you'd be rewriting the whole streaming right. system right. to account for like more memory, I think. Uh, and I don't know. I guess that's po anything's possible, but but I probably that, way more work than that. Other and, stuff. I, and I bet that's something that's like different per game. I yeah. bet there are some games where you go like, oh yeah, we moved the draw distance out, and and we found ways to do that stuff. There are definitely games that will be like, oh, we found a way to remove the fog, and you can see a little bit further, but then you actually just see geometry just right. popping in because the, they, the fog they don't was hide just, it. It's yeah. just there to hide that, right? Yeah. Some of the stuff, I don't remember which, and it's, it's been months since I saw this, but whatever PlayStation emulator was working on adding like a depth buffer or whatever, so you could get like depth of field and other yeah. weird stuff in PlayStation 1 games. <laughs> like it's like modern effects in this old ass primitive 3D stuff. A really weird contrast. Bob Burnquist, maybe not the best skater for this specific thing I'm trying to do. Uh, maybe just bump some points into speed or something. Yeah. Well, I, I would need uh, maybe if I just bought a, a special trick that it was a grab because uh, he's got two grinds. Oh. With so many of these songs, these games were the first place I heard them. Um, but you would only hear the first two minutes. Right. And eventually I would go on to listen to the whole song and be like, oh, there's like a, you know, weird key change or. Yeah, as your Gail just said, the worst part of a two minute time limit is never hearing the end of these songs. Yeah. Perhaps more Benny Hanna's will help. Or Benny Hanna's will help. Ah! So there's no way, you know, they eventually added a way for you to fix situations like that where you fly off the edge of a rail, just right yourself and land it. Uh, but at this point, they hadn't done that yet. Also, you'll hit a wall sometimes like that and not do the trick that you're trying to do. That's bad. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, Ugh. Uh, Kane Highwind 09 asks, with Tony Hawk supposedly being open to more games, do you think someone will ever make another Tony Hawk's Pro Skater? Uh, no. I don't think anyone will make another Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, but I think Tony Hawk will... There will be another Tony Hawk video game or a video game with Tony Hawk in it. Okay. Uh, that'll definitely happen. Does he... But Pro Skater is owned by Activision. Okay. They could, you know, they, they wouldn't... Okay. They wouldn't do that. Um... What would you say would be the two most powerful shoe brands in the Tony Hawk skate skating this era? This era? I, I don't I don't know. I was gonna say DC, but I I don't know. Man, I don't know. I don't even know what makes a skate what, shoe Ed company. Be, be, yeah. I... Skate shoes. I mean, everyone's got their line now. Adidas does skateboarding shoes. Nike does them. Like... Fans? Fans, of course. So I want to try to get over there, I think. And then I jump over there, and that's where the tape is. I, I can't remember where I get up, though. There's a little spot that peeks out. Is this it? <clears throat> Uh, ben, there's a user in the chat named. I'm not sure if I'm reading this right. Yababi, who says, "Ben, that's looking real good." Oh, thanks. And thanks for being a premium subscriber. It really helps the site. Yeah. Oh, right here it is. Okay. I was a um, camp counselor for, say, eight years, and 
at the same particular camp. I was, I was a counselor for eight years at the same camp. And at this particular camp, we would kind of, at the halfway point throughout the day, have a arts and crafts project. And I, it was nice because it was a chance to like sit down, you know, because otherwise you're going to be really high energy and run the kids around and stuff. But arts and crafts is really nice because you can sit down and relax and just like... Touch a lot of macaroni? <laughs> touch a lot of macaroni, a lot of popsicle yeah. sticks. Okay. Um, that's, that's where I discovered my love for... Macaroni? Macaroni and popsicle sticks. Is, uh, is being a camp counselor as debauched as popular media would you lead you to believe? One, so I only did overnight one year. Okay. And that's when it got, like, you know, because for day camps when you're in at eight and gone at six. Yeah, it's yeah, just like, you know, sure. You're around the kids. It's like school. People just take off. But, I mean, you know, we got up to, like, fucking somebody go buy some booze and... Or drink and not, not nothing really ever beyond that, but just like you know, kill a guy, <laughs> not kill anyone, make like whatever kids were left, to make fight. lifelong enemies, sure. This is how I always got this tape, but I can't, I don't know if this is the like canonical way to do it because I've never played this game in front of people before. Oh, 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 fuck. So, Shit. So far, I have, a, I have a big intro ramp, big rail to grind, two pools. I'm gonna work on a half pipe next, but if chat has any suggestions for what they'd see in a dream skate park. That's not even close, man. I would be curious if chat has uh, any tips for this secret tape. Could go right to the source. Tony Hawk? Yes. Dear Tony Hawk. How do we get the secret tape on school too? Just, just comment uh, on his most recent Instagram. Yeah, we'll just, yeah. just go to Twitter and DM him real fast. Is he more active on Instagram? I would assume so. I feel like any, anyone who lives an extreme outdoorsy lifestyle, yeah. a uh, lot he, of opportunities for really good Instagram he, pictures. He, he tweeted yesterday. He's definitely active on Twitter, but. Maybe I can get my Ollie up. The problem with, ra with raising your Ollie stat too early in some of these games is that you're suddenly like jumping too high. For yeah. some of the tricks, or for some of the goals and stuff. And like, try and like connect rails yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and you're just like, skying over them and stuff. Here's a picture of Tony Hawk hanging out with Devo. Cool. Fuck yeah. is, is he wearing, is Tony Hawk wearing one of the hats? They are all wearing the hat. <laughs> Great. 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 Yep. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Tony Hawk's all right. If I could hang out with any band, Devo's up there. Yeah, I mean, I will say Devo kind of looks What's like your, your dad. What's your number two? Like Murder Junkies, like Gigi Allen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Devo does look a bit like your dad these days, but that's fine. Yeah, but like a cool dad. Yeah. You're creating a rough surface over there to skate on when you peel all that tape off. Yeah, I fucked up. I should have done it on the other side to begin with, but nothing that some elbow grease can't fix. Yeah, I mean, just put a ramp that you can use to jump over the rough patch, you know, and that's like a, that's a feature of your park now. 
Still feels that okay. doesn't seem too bad. No. Okay. Trying to get some more inspiration. <clears throat> oh, right. I should find out where the secret date is. Yeah, see if uh, chat has anything to say about. Uh... Stoneclaw Fox says Gigi Allen was a scary guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ah! Just putting that out there. I was trying to grind the edge of it and I fucking fucked it all up. Mm. Let me just head over to gamefacts.gamespot.com. See what they've got to say. What was your, uh, what's your fact choosing methodology? Uh, I would guess I would always go yeah. for the one with the biggest file size for sure. But then I started to think about it and I'm like, well. Not, that's not necessarily always going to be the best choice because there's going to be a lot of people who know that people grab towards the biggest and they're going to add a lot of like... like sick ass ASCII art. Yeah. But that's stuff. the thing, I'm looking for the sickest ass ASCII art. Let's see, flip flip TC's roof gap, run through roll call, find the secret tape. Can we just tell you or... Yeah. Okay, hang on. Okay, from the start, head to the area to your right. Here, trick off the quarter pipe that's on the center stage and then make your way over to the other side of the stage. You can't see it from here, but there is a tiny little ramp at the end. Oh. Your object is to go down that, then launch off the planter and onto the roof above. Oh. <laughs> May I suggest upgrading your air and speed stats if you can't seem to get this? I like how polite this fact is. I feel like I always did the wall ride to grind and then jumped off onto that ledge. But yes, that's... I do remember that. That makes sense. The way I was doing it was harder than it probably had to be. Alright, so we'll go down here and get a look at this thing. Probably where this, yeah, where that marking is, and you sky off that and do it that way. Yeah, dumb. Dumb. A lot of years I spent fucking doing that wall ride. All that time lost. It's time you'll never get back. Like tears in the rain. Way easier. That's just stupid. All right, you know, here, and then you go out over here. Man, this is a cool fucking game. Uh, <clears throat> awkward loser planting a flag here saying, 100% chance Tony Hawk is in the next skate game. The bold play yes. even saying that there's yeah, going to be another skate if game. If there is another skate game, they will put Tony Hawk you in think, it. You think he'd do it? Yes, absolutely. You don't, you don't think he'd, like, insist on his own game again? That's what I mean, like, you think, O'Reilly? You know, he had fucking a decade of, like, the biggest, you know, extreme sports game on the market. Is, I... he, is he going to become just another skater in a skate game versus getting another marquee? He doesn't seem like an egotistical guy, but... Right, and, and that's, that's why I think he would absolutely be on the roster of a skateboarding game. Um, you think he'd just be excited that a skating game is getting made again? Yeah, that probably. But also, you know, like, there's also that feeling of, like, the business end of it of, like, well, if he does this for X amount of dollars, like, that doesn't have his name on it. That's exactly what Like, I mean. is he giving up the right. opportunity right. for someone to come along and say, hey, we want to put your name on the thing? Yeah, that's, that's what I was getting at. But also... I think if you get Tony Hawk for a game, you put his name on it. Mm. <laughs> Tony Hawk skate? No, skate four featuring Tony Hawk. Oh wow! So he's so he's kind of the cover athlete. Yeah. Or, or he's the kind of the, like a. Well, that's the thing. Like, who are you trying to appeal to? Like, mm. if you think about skate as like an authentic reflection of modern skateboarding, like there are skater. I don't know who they are. 
But there are skateboarders you would get, I assume, yep. that are the current like good, legit, authentic yeah, he, he was skateboarder. Singing, he was singing the praises of someone on his Instagram. Uh, uh, what's that guy's name? Actually, a lot. He seems to. I don't Actually, think he seems to. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. He seems to use his Instagram a lot to promote current skaters. Think about it the way WWE does it, where, like, this is what I would do with Skate Four. I would do Skate Four with whoever the fuck on it, picture of a skateboard and some skaters, whatever, your roster. And then I would do the all in fucking, you paid a hundred dollars for this and it comes with a season pass. That would be like Tony Hawk legendary edition. Okay. And that would be the one that had Tony on the cover and came with a bunch of extra shit and came with like, you know, here's the, the skate, you get a early access to the skate park that is in Tony Hawk's backyard. If you buy this yeah, version that or would whatever. Be fucking awesome. Like, you mean the literal custom one that he had built in his house? Yeah. Man, that would be a pretty good bonus. Do you, okay, here's my question about Skate 4. Is there any value in them calling it Skate 4 and not just... The Skate or Skate sh- or... Something or, else, even not even, like, Hawk Force. <laughs> hmm. You know, does that does that name really... I know, like, amongst us in our close circle of... I, there, like there's a, there are people that recognize the skate name as being really great, and and there's enough equity built up in it. There would be a lot of excitement around it. Okay. So normally I'd say, oh, anyone who knows what skate is would all also gravitate to any other sufficiently marketed skateboarding game, uh, from the makers of skate or whatever. You don't have to call it skate, but if they announce skate four. People go, oh shit, that's the game some friend of mine on the internet won't shut up about wanting them to make, and now they're making it. I should probably check it out. You know, there's there's maybe that knock-on effect, so there probably is value in calling it that. Yeah, All right, first competition level. I'm going to tweet out an in-progress picture on our giant bomb Twitter, so go check that out if you're watching live. So we be killing it here. Uh, Andy, I guess I'm saying this right, Andy Theme Z says, My mom was apparently the leader of a pre fame GG Allen fan club and received demos and inspiring Hope I Make It type letters from him. What? Wow. Put some of those letters Hope on. Hope I make. Oh my god. Put some of those letters on the internet. He made it all right. Every night on stage. Ugh. Was he doing all that stuff before? Like pre-fame is a weird thing. Yeah, I don't know. Gigi Allen and it's, it's like yeah, it's a fame of sorts. Yeah, no, that's Gigi Allen is famous. I don't know if I guess it's okay to type Gigi Allen into Google on the company internet. Well, sure, he's a it's for it's for a show. This is research. Yeah, it's research Wait. research for doing for a show. Wait, somebody said this in chat, and I thought they were just yeah, bullshitting. Wikipedia says that his legal birth name was Jesus Christ Allen. Yep, that's why they called him Gigi because his brother Merle Allen. Um, <sighs> had trouble pronouncing the name. Okay. And so, instead of Jesus, called him Gigi. He later changed his name to Kevin Allen. Okay. Or as some family member of his, or when he was young or something like that, but yes, his name was eventually, I think, legally changed. Jeez, he died Kevin. At, he died at 36? Wow. Oh. Live hard, die young. Oh my god, there's a picture of his gravesite here. Is someone urinating on him? No. Wait, is that? Oh, that's hard to read. Photo's kind of small, but his his gravestone seems to identify him as rock and roll terrorist Kevin M. Allen. Okay. Uh, a, is there a secret area? Is that still, or was that in a re-release of this level and it doesn't actually exist here? There's a like a board or something. Yeah. Okay. Here, this board here. Break that. That thing falls down. And you can get into a different area. Ah! Damn it. Probably should have just ended it. 90. 90. Not bad. When you're up against Tony Hawk, you need better than not bad. Damn it. 
What's another, not necessarily shoe brand, but a clothing brand closely associated with this era in skateboarding? Uh, I don't know. This was like the era of like Mr. Rags and hot, like pre-Hot Topic. Uh, so I feel like this was like ringer tees with bootleg logos that said pimp instead of puma and all that other fucking stupid shit. Spitfire. Uh, Spitfire, they make wheels, don't they? Clothing brand, too. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Exactly what I'm looking for, Jim. Thank you. Ah! I'm not gonna get it done on this run, am I? First round's practice. I gotta raise my spin stats. Oh man, what happened to the- oh. Time right now. Damn it. Wait, is that as far as that song will ever go? Yeah. Uh, no, because these are one minute heats. Oh, oh okay. Damn. So it will go exactly twice as far as this. Alright, that's a terrible run, but if we can get a good third run, maybe something will happen. Fuck. That would have been good. That's not. You had to enter into a skateboard. If I had to too, enter into. too close to the sun. Yeah. I still did pretty good, though. You still did pretty good. That might be enough. Depending on what Tony Hawk gets. Tony Hawk. How about a steady. Those 91 ones. Ooh. Suck it, Tony Hawk. Man. Hold out at the end. New York. This was the level I could consistently like get the highest scores on because they have all those like rafters oh, up on the buildings that pie. connect and yeah. they have a lot of big bonuses on them. I like a big bonus. Love a big bonus. I cannot lie. Ollie the hydrants, subway tokens, 50-50 grind on Joey's sculpture around the subway rails. <clears throat> Sorry, what's the name of this level? New York. Oh, I've heard of that place. Yeah, it's a skate park. Okay. This fact spells it out as an NY city. Skate or die. Oh man, that's tough. Wait, what was the question? Which skate would I, or die? Which would you choose, skate or die? Oh. Mm. How about one than the other? Skate and die. Are those games good? Uh, In my mind, they are good, or at least the first one is. It's kind of only one, uh, but there's it's different versions of it. Maybe so. that's what it is that I was thinking of. I think the Commodore 64 version of Skate or Die is a fantastic game. I've never, never seen that one. Yeah. Uh, the NES version that Konami did, I, I thought was not really 
awesome. Is there an arcade version? No, that's 720 you're thinking of. Yeah. Where when you're out of time, it's a skate or die. And then EA said, that's cool. We should <laughs> steal that. Pretty good name. They and, made a two, right? Uh, yeah, so, but that was like, I think like Konami made two, but the, but I don't know that there was actually like the original. I don't know if the original designers and developers at EA. So that's the thing. Like EA is making Skate, but EA also made Skate or Die. The first one. Yeah, like that. They are Skate or Die. Like Konami licensed it what? for NES and developed a totally different game. Oh what? Uh, okay. And, and then I they have also no idea. There's also Ski or Die. Huh. What? Uh, which I think might have. That was a yay, that was a computer game. Like that was their follow up to it. Okay. But yeah, then there was like Skate or Die 2, Bad and Rad, or whatever the fuck Search it was. Search for Double Trouble. Yeah. And then maybe Bad or and well, Rad was the Game Boy game. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Supported by Konami's Ultra Games subsidiary. All right, time to buy a trick. <laughs> Took my trick. This Wikipedia article for Skater Die 2 cites no sources whatsoever. So this could be all complete fabrication. <laughs> Who would do that? Who would just go on the internet and lie? Skater Die 2, the search for double trouble. Oh, he does have, okay. Skater Die, bad and rad. Yeah, that's the Game, that's Boy, the Game Boy game. Developed by Konami. Racket Air. It says Skater Die 2 was made by EA. Okay. The side-scrolling game. For NES? Or, yes. Okay. Skater Die 1 for NES is Konami, is that right? Yeah, but I want to say Konami probably also published Skater Die 2. I guess I don't know. Uh, but in my mind, that was a Konami thing. Uh, Christ Air, okay. Hospital Flip, Sack Tap, always popular, but I don't have enough money for it. Mm. Sack Tap is classic. $15,000 for the 900. <clears throat> Are these tricks like worth more points than what you already have? Yeah, they're, you can so, only do them when you're special. Okay. Uh, so it's like actually worth it to have these for, like, right. for the score challenges? I guess I'll save up. I'll, I'll try using, because I, I do have a, an air special in the racket air, so maybe I'll, I'll give that a shot and see if I like it. And then go from there. I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. Okay. Maybe Ben can give us a clear walking, yeah. walking tour of the skate park. Yeah. Jim, do we have the tech to vault? Ooh. So, so far, let's spin this bad boy around here. I imagine one entering, starting up here, okay. working their way down. I have to clear out some of this hot glue residue. Um, we've got a, got a ramp, or a rail here. I like a curved rail, okay. because it allows you to carry your momentum if you want to like, Hop off this okay. way. You can go towards. This will be kind of the half pipe area. I'm, I'm assuming. We've got dueling pools. Um, I really like the idea of having two pools, each with their own complementary okay. candies. Yeah. Well, there's a bit of a problem here, which is pool might be a little tight, mm. but still good grinding size. Okay, you know, sure. If you want to just like, and then I imagine you could like. You know, start grinding and then trade off okay, yeah. this one and yeah, like go around, you know? Kind of figure eight. That's gonna be one of my like hidden uh, bonus rails. Um, that's it so far. You know, we'll probably get some more rails down okay. in this area. A uh, half pipe. Half pipe, as you said. Half pipe, maybe a, a quarter like corner pipe here, but I don't know okay. the physics on how I'm gonna get a nice curve. I got a lot of cardboard, mm -hmm. so. I imagine I can fail a few times before succeeding. 
And then we're just gonna see where it goes from there. I might make a little run around the office and see if I find any other cool, fun things I can put in. But we will have competitions for this. It will be mandatory. And if you don't skate, you die. All right, the that's, gauntlet uh, has been thrown down. Yeah, that's, I don't have a name for the park yet either if chat has any great suggestions for that. Uh, skate's worth. Skate's worth. If you have anything better than Skate's worth, which I don't think is possible, mm. put it in the chat. Back to you, Jeff. All right, we're back here at Skate Central. Time to continue uh, in new, oh, I should have bought stats. I need to buy stats, I'm Look. sorry. Go. Clear. I loaded, I loaded out of that menu. And then I should have hit back there. Oh, whatever, we'll take one more run. Let's find these hydrants and tokens. 50-50 Joey's sculpture. I think the skull, that's the statue in the middle, maybe? Nah, well, it would say statue if it was statue. Vigor Gamer asks, is eating a lot something you do if you're catching a cold? That's the sculpture. Uh, me personally? Or just yeah, like, just like is a thing that is done to help with a cold. They say feed a cold, starve a fever, right? That's what they say. Uh, they followed up and said, at noon I had some soup and a hot pocket, then an hour later my boss gave me two pieces of pizza, and now for dinner I just ate four full hot dogs and some cake, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Nothing. you living life. You Man, four full hot dogs, that sounds pretty good. Ah, oh. More spin. It's one of the subway tokens I've heard so much about. Let's see what the review says for this game. I'm gonna say the review for this game says, yo, this game's fucking good. Yeah, I think it was 9.9, .9, so. I wish that the site, uh, the current site, preserved those old component scores. Oh, you can't break those out anymore? No, oh, it's man. just the elements aren't there. I mean, the, it's still a database, right? I would hope. Uh, <laughs> Surely? Who could say? Man, who don't tell say? me Don't tell me they trashed that stuff. Surely not. I, I bet that the, I bet in some redesign after we were gone, that that stuff totally got tossed. Oh, man. Might still have some of my original docs sitting around mm. with that data in it for reviews I wrote. Just post the GameSpot review template. Of the spreadsheet? Yeah. Finally the truth can be told. Oh, the, yeah, the spreadsheet, but also just like, here's the form that people used to have to fill out. Uh, oh, oh, that like was the, thing, the review. Like the thing you submitted to, like, copy edit or whatever? I remember changing that template like a dozen times. I feel like we just stop using it at some point. Well, eventually we started entering some of our own stuff now into the database. I think at that point I was like, well, fucking whatever. I started doing that like way before we were required to. I never wondered, I always wondered how production felt about that. Mm. Like I was just building all my own articles myself. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. The mere concept of a sequel to last year's surprise hit is enough to send chills down the spines of the game's diehard fans. I'll stand by that. I'll stand by that statement. It's weird, because in the credits for Tony Hawk 1, they say, hey, Tony Hawk 2 is coming, send us your ideas, they have an huh. email address, and then they say, you'll be able to do blunt slides. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, games got made a lot faster back then. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, this was just a year later, right? Yeah, yeah. So they had to be... I assume that means that they had that stuff kind of working in Tony Hawk 1 at some point and were like, ah, we'll save it for the sequel. 
All right, I almost got all five of the tokens, uh, but I fucked up the last jump. Yeah, it seems like it seems like the whole theme of this review is like, hey, new consoles are coming. This is like one of the last PlayStation games that matters. Okay, so lining that one up is kind of the, the hard <laughs> one. Vinny Bushes says, Power Man 5000 played an outdoor street food festival here in Madison, Wisconsin last year at like two in the afternoon. Didn't the guy from Power Man 5000 pass away? Uh, I'm sure there's still some form of Power Man 5000 around. Who is the dude? It's like Rob Zombie's brother. Oh, right. There was some... There was some connection. Spider One is the younger brother of fellow metal musician Rob Zombie. Spider One. And then is he is he, is he with us still? Uh, I, yes, he is oh. 50 years old. Oh, okay. I, He's still alive. Why did I? Uh, let's see. Well, it doesn't look like anybody in Power Man 5000 ever died. What am I thinking of? Oh, whatever. Good, great. As far as I can tell. I'm having trouble lining this up. Oh. Well, whatever, I'm still missing one back here anyway. <clears throat> A lot of people saying it was Wayne Static of Static X. That is exactly what I'm thinking of. Who passed away. Exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> so where is that? Okay, there's the first one. Okay. okay, so we go up this away. Matty FTM asks, how the hell does this game only get a nine for sound? Oh, if we could see the component scores, I would assume that's the only score that wasn't a 10, right? Because how else could you get a 9.9 .9 unless everything was a 10 except one, right? I thought value was also, I thought value was the lowest one. I don't know. Like I said, there's no way to see now, so. Uh, that might be a way back machine thing. Oh, you know what? He did have a, let's see. Yeah, yeah, he says everything is a 10 except for sound. Jeff needs to explain himself. Hmm. Very hard to give games tens around here. Yeah. It used to be. <laughs> yes, used to be. that is true. Some of the like vocal sound effects are kind of muffled and weird. Yeah. But you know, like uh, by the standards of the day, that was fuck. Taking a lock of Goku's hair for good luck. <clears throat> Lando81 asks, would this game have earned a perfect 10 if it had had that Puff Daddy Led Zeppelin song in it? Uh, yeah, most games would have. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was just the Godzilla game. I had it. Oh, I can't even reach it. Uh. I'm not gonna get this fucking token. I'm not gonna line up this fucking jump and get this fucking token, am I? One more run at it. If I was smart, I would try to like line up like, okay, what? Do, oh, yeah, see, exactly that. I've not been doing a ton of manualing, but I haven't really had to. Okay, so we need 150,000 points. I don't think I've seen one hydrant, but I guess I haven't really been looking. We need to find the subway rails. Let's see. Brad, what's uh, your favorite color? Oh god, I don't think I have one. Uh, let's go with a nice shade of blue. Like a dark or a light? Mm. I like a... Like a sky? Like an yeah. ocean? Yeah, it's kind of like a sky blue. Right. Is it weird to not really have a favorite color? I don't know. No. Mine fluctuates, you know? I actually, so. actually like purple a lot, but... Oh, 
Okay, found a hydrant. Nope. All right, hydrants are likely to be on the streets, not down here. So let's head up and look around these parts. These are also not streets. God, the, just the draw distance and some of the visual fidelity. You know what game I, I've gone back and checked out recently and has maybe the most egregious draw distance of any game I've seen? Hmm. The Lover. I Lover. swear to God, it's like four feet in front of you. What occasions your uh, return to Glover? It is one of those things of like, I reference Glover as a goof so often that I felt like I owed it to myself to. <laughs> and to Glover. <laughs> and to Glover. See what was up. You ever play that uh, Glover 2 beta that got out? No, I meant to, but it was probably not great. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know that I could say one way or the other, because I don't think I've spent any real time with it. And I was never a. I, you know what? I was a fan of the idea. You didn't love the glove? I, I didn't love the glove. You gotta love the glove. No, I know you have to. Uh, Yeah, there we go. I just, I don't, I barely remember these levels, you know? Like, like a lot of it does kind of come back like, oh, right, yeah, yeah. But like, I, there's just some stuff here that is a mystery all over again, which is kind of cool. Do you have a list of, well, you, did you get all the hydrants? I got all the hydrants. Okay. Uh, I got subway tokens. Uh, yeah. I got all the tokens. I, got, I need. I got 50-50 Joey sculpture. I did that. Got subway rails. Uh, I need subway rails, but I haven't found any of them yet. Uh, uh, I assume that's multiple rails around the this... level and not necessarily like find a subway and r grind the actual rails of it. This says first you need to collect all of the subway tokens. Okay, I did that. Oh, right. Yeah. So when you collect all the tokens, it opens up this gate over here, right? Yeah. I so hope that just stays open. I don't need to get them again. Stay forward from the start of the level, but cut through the kickers yeah, okay. to the right. Here we go. You don't keep progress on objectives, you don't finish, right? Right. There it is. I just have to not fucking wreck. Oops. Hello. Yeah, I don't know. I always, in my mind, I always think of the PlayStation as being very hard to go back to. And like this does look kind of terrible, but also I don't mind it so much. Yeah. This isn't. It's not like. I mean, it's got all the problems you remember. Right. But it's not like it's not playable. I'm just not gonna get it. Okay. No. Paul W. Graham asks or requests that Ben add collectibles to his level. Ooh, hoo, hoo. yeah. I'm gonna make a hidden tape. How are you gonna make it float in midair, though? Pipe cleaners. Mm. Always the answer. What's the deal with pipe cleaners? Are, are like. Sometimes you gotta clean a pipe. Are they really what they are invented for? Because I've never. I mean, there's not that many pipes. Pipes aren't as big of a deal as they are today, as they were back in the day. Yeah, it's true. I've smoked a pipe before. Really? And I used pipe cleaners on it. I don't know. It was did novel. You, did you absolutely, like, fuck up the first time and, like... Uh, like, inhale it? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't think so. My grandpa smoked a pipe, like, all the time, so I kind of uh. knew what to do. 
You didn't go in like, oh, I'm gonna smoke a pipe because it looks cool. <laughs> no, no, just... no, no, I, I kind of knew what I was doing. I remember when I was a little kid, I was in the car one day and I looked over and there was a guy smoking a pipe with his like windows rolled up and then he rolled him down and just started <coughs> <coughs> and that like freaked me the fuck out and I never, from that point on, I was like, I'm never going to smoke a pipe. I don't want to die like that man I saw that day. I think that smells all right though. Until it like gets smoked, then it's not so good. I like a tobacco scented candle, so I could, I could see that. Oh god, what am I even doing? Come on now. Yep, nailed it. Getting it done over here. A little finicky sometimes, some of the turning. Numerous people in chat appear to be having a Phoenix Down moment with the meaning of pipe cleaners. Yeah, it's fuzzy. You run it through a pipe to clean whatever out. Whatever's in your pipe. Some people seem to think it was a plumbing implement. I can't hear this thong song without thinking of the intro to Johnny Mosley's Mad Tricks. And it's fucking breaking me that it's in this game. This game deserves better than making me think of Johnny Mosley's Mad Tricks. Yay. God, that game sucks. It's a skiing game. It's the game that dared to ask. What would happen if it snowed in San Francisco? Right, that game. Were you guys here working that day it snowed in like 2000 something? Mm. I, I happened know. to be in town. It snowed crazy. in San Francisco? When was the last time it snowed in San Francisco? It was like around Golden Gate Park. There are conflicting reports about the last time it snowed here. Nobody knew how to drive. <laughs> well, so it's probably one of those Wait. situations where like it snowed for like eight seconds or something, no, right? Nobody knew yeah. how to drive, period. Yeah. I mean, it was like a half hour total, maybe. Okay. Uh, probably. AccuWeather said it was, says it was 1976. Well, I mean, I wonder what they count. Like, if it was technically not right. snow. God, I know it's basically impossible, and I would, I would love to see, like, a foot get dumped on this city. Just to see what would happen. Yeah. <laughs> it would be complete pandemonium. All right, score and the tape. I don't know where the secret tape is. Uh, so I can use some assistance on that, and then I need to find... You need to head into the secret area. Oh. You can do this one of two ways. Do you know where that is? Nope. Go up the subway escalator and ride the rails to the end, drop off into the secret area. Or from the start of the level, skate straight forward until you hit a wall, wall ride it to the top, and then over into the banks area. Oh, there's more to that. Sounds like this, sounds like this subway rails ah, method is, is easier. Great, because I'm really good at riding the subway rail. I full rail balance, I'm still fucking fucking this up. Take the rail the second from the right. Okay, second from the right. <clears throat> Wait, are you in the secret area? No. Okay. When you hit the secret area, you'll notice the gray path on your right. Follow this path around to the end, stop and take notice of three rails that are sticking out of the path. You want to take the rail that's second from the right. 
grind along it and ollie to the left and land in a grind on the other rail, grind on this rail to the end to get the super tip. I gotta stop doing that. I mean, you can try this other method. Oh, I'll try this whole thing. This it? This isn't it, is it? Did I not grind the rails? Uh, oh, this is yeah. No? No? That's just money. Keep going. Are there gonna be pipes here? Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, those are the pipes okay. coming off it. So uh, the second from the right, and yeah. I have to grind it across. Yeah. The, okay. Yeah. Uh, take the rail that's second from the right, grind it, ollie to the left, and land in a land in a grind on the other rail. To the left? Yeah, is there, there oh, is, I think, wait, that doesn't make sense. Wait, is that? There, yeah. okay, oh, yeah, and I need to jump over that rail and then ride it over there. Okay, that's doable. Just not by me. Strike again, and restart. Okay, Moab or Mo4B says, when, where did Ben find that ball? Uh, I don't know, it's on the ground. Just hurt. stay, just stay on, just stay on. Okay. It's like I never left New York, just watching the guy with a bucket hat. Ah, shit! Okay, no, I put me here, that's fine. Guy with a bucket hat skating on subway train yeah. rails. Yeah. Y'all ever look at Flavor Flav's Twitter? No. Just no. check it out. Oh, shit, I thought I was going to miss the rail and I... I fucked that up. Check out his fave star. I want to know about his best tweets of all time. Man, they shut down fave star. Did they? Yeah. I mean, ever since they changed him to likes. It's mostly just the way he writes his tweets is very unusual. Because it was duh worthless. What? What if I wanted to see? Not enough people signed up for Fave Star Pro. Yeah, that's true. You couldn't see everyone's top Fave tweet. You can only see. Man, that's I might not have the two through ten, whatever. Partner the drill book. Nice. And uh, it's so fun to just pop it open to a random page, see something great, go find the actual tweet, retweet, like finding old stuff from 2011 and earlier even sometimes. A treat. Also nice to be able to like look for that perfect drill tweet or you know sort it into topics. Yeah, for any occasion. There's just two pages of Halo tweets. Wait, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Ugh, <laughs> oh, okay, all right. There we go. Interesting to see that guy uh, monetizing. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Like, he seemed like just some weird iconoclastic performance art type thing. I got uh, the, the Share Zones game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like game, did you say? Yeah. Card game. They made a game? I have not played it yet. Oh, oh did you uh, say card game? Yeah, oh, card game. It's like game. a physical thing. Yeah, right? yeah. I quite enjoy that Twitter account. Uh, I haven't had time to dig into it yet. I didn't know they uh, had it merch. It showed up while I was out of town. I was like, oh shit. Everybody merging it up. That's right. Uh, to parlay that Twitter fame into straight up dollars. Yeah. Probably the greatest one of all time was. Uh, Electro Lemon, fucking working for like 
Fallon and how the good plays oh, and shit. I, yeah, like, yeah, I guess that's, yeah. Legit. Uh, are you familiar with this book that Peter Brown was tweeting about today, The Game Console? No. A, photographic, his, oh, a photographic history from Atari to Xbox? Mm. Uh, it sounds super cool. I kind of want to check it out. It says, just the right amount of cultural context and technical insight to be informative with lots of room left for large, detailed photos of hardware and guts. Yeah. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Spend some points. Let's get back in here and get <clears> those points. Dooms McLeod says, please ask Jeff what his share zone levels currently are. Oh, it's, uh, they're all, is it depression, extremely high. Horniness, extremely high. I don't remember what the third one is. All right, we need 150,000 points. Uh, I like that uh, you still see a screen here, like before it loads in, and maybe it's just because the play everyone's PlayStations are getting older, but before the image of the level pops in, it says not in demo. Like they put out a demo, and when yeah. you went over to the levels that were not so, in the demo, it said not in demo, and it's still in the final version of the game huh. for a split second, kind of before the, the picture of the level pops in. Huh. It's a silly, it's silly. All right, where's gonna be a good point uh, in this level to fucking really just get a bunch of points? Oop. I don't know how if, it, if it's laid out exactly the same, but yeah, around there, there was like a series of rafters that were each worth like a lot of bonus mm -hmm. points. Rafters? Or like, uh, you know, I forget what they're called, but they're like things outside of windows. Oh, like ra railings and awnings and stuff? Yeah. yeah. You, know, you could like wall ride between that and stuff. Oh, you know, this is kind of a weird, not quite half pipe, but area that you could do some shit. I have a pretty good secondhand story about Flavor Flav. Oh. Um, trying to figure out how to tell it without getting anyone complacent, complicit, making anyone complicit. But let's just say a friend of a friend of a friend was performing at a festival where Flavor Flav was, and this friend was backstage in like a room or whatever, getting ready to perform. And Flavor Flav walked in and said, What the fuck? This isn't my green room. And then looked around and said, Y'all got weed anyway? <laughs> And they proceeded to smoke Flavor Flav out. And they said, You guys aren't bad. I'll remember this. <laughs> Give me your address and I'll send you something nice. And he sent them legit, like, Flavor Flav style necklace. Like clocks. clocks. Wow. <laughs> That's really good. I was glad that he was a man of his word. Yeah, That's definitely. Good. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right. So we just need 150,000 points, right? And that was 110. So if I just, probably if I just hone in on that area and do my thing, I'm sure there are way more skilled ways to get 150,000 points in this level. Uh, dirty Salmon. Ah. Says, hello from New Zealand. Do you want a copy of Jonah Lomu Rugby and Gran Turismo? It was a pack-in with New Zealand PlayStation 1s in the 90s. Every house has a copy of Jonah Lomu Rugby. It definitely fits in the so bad it's good category. I mean, our house definitely doesn't have a copy of that. So True. I'll, I'll just say that. Uh... Yes. I'll say yes. <laughs> I'd like to see what a rugby game from the PS1 era looks like. That's bad. Okay. All right. All right. Not worth a lot of points, but... 
Uh, <clears throat> the whole reason I was looking up Flavor Flav is because he was at the birthday party of that Vegas brothel owner slash budding politician the other night. Who? You see that? That is the Bunny Ranch guy. Yeah. Seems, he seems like a guy that would eventually end up in fucking politics. I don't know if it's the Bunny Ranch. The guy with the reality show. The Maybe. guy that had the reality show. Maybe it was the Bunny Ranch. Whatever the fuck his name was. Anyway, I mean, did you see what happened? He ended up dead. What? Hang on. Let me see which guy it was. For a second, I thought you said Flavor Flav. No, 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 no. Flavor Flav is fine. Flavor Flav is fine, everyone. Uh, yeah, it was the Bunny Ranch. Yeah, yes, that guy had his birthday party the other night. Which Flavor Flav attended. And then the next morning was found dead. The guy. The brothel owner. Okay. What's his name? What was his name? Uh... Da, 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 da. Dennis Hoff. Right. Do you have a reality show? Yes. Yes, I guess he did on HBO. Get there. Uh. All right, clearly I'm gonna have to... Uh, Spend some time actually doing something skillful. Three OCT asks, "When's the episode where you play Yanya Cabalista, city skater?" Yeah, so I don't know. You know, like I want to definitely play through all the the main Tony Hawk games within reason. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I have a copy of Grind Session sitting right here. So that's bad. I don't want to be here. I mean, if you want to think about, uh, I think the review even says it, you know, the, a reason why this game wouldn't get a 10, it's because Grind Session came out and had like a good camera, like control uh, thing. So you could kind of look around a level, which is good for some of these things that are up high and you're trying to like, oh, where's this fucking tape? And like trying to find crap like that. Uh, Grind Session came out and did that fairly well or, or had the option, I guess. Obviously, that's not a problem with the sound. Wasn't this, uh, wasn't that back in the era when review scores were, like, very relative to other games? Yes and no. Kind of. Um, or is more of a consideration? Yeah, I think, you know, there, there was a time where you were trying to, like, put some kind of logic into it, but then you had different reviewers reviewing games. Well, yeah. And, you know, it was very hard to actually do that. It's part of the reason why uh, I eventually worked with everyone else and changed that scoring system was because the same score would show up a lot just like the way the averages worked out you know you probably saw more 8.6s than some other scores in that Fair. range yep. uh, so that's what Splinter Cell got people were fucking all bent out of shape about for whatever dumb reason Splinter Cell's an amazing game you hate the Xbox like well, you do hate the Xbox. The original Xbox? That black and white button. They were dumb. What are you going to do? That was kind of dumb. <clears throat> I'm being told that evolution skateboarding needs to be on the list. I mean, everything is kind of on the list. Uh, is that the... The Konami? Is that, it's the Konami game, yeah. I just keep doing this over and over again. Is really untapped 
in the video game world. Curling. What are you talking about? Sonic and Mario 3 Winter Games. Nagano. Well, okay, I, w I would still call that untapped. Like, okay. like, you could do more with it. Sure. Am I gonna do this, or am I fucking just run out of points juice here? Oh, yeah, that's gonna nail it. I right. oh. Say slam ball. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, NBA Jam, though, is actually just a slam ball game. True. I'm gonna fall short here, aren't I? Ah! Ah! Oh! Get to something. All right. Oh, that was terrible. I fuck it. any. I could have done anything if I had gotten to any grind or anything. I would have fucking done it and couldn't. Terrible. It's New York for you. Yeah. They say if you can make it there, uh, you, you get to move on to the next level. Mm -hmm. about lip tricks? Yeah, yeah, lip tricks. I never really huge on them. What is that meter that keeps popping up? Uh, that's uh, your, your balance meter when you're manual. Oh. Yeah, weird that they introduced that before the uh, like rail stuff. Doing way worse this time than I did last time when I almost made it. <clears throat> yeah, you were at like 100,000 at this point last time. Well, let's get out of here. Probably the actual answer is to just hit a lot of these rails and try to manual between them. And they did add the manual for this game. But I've not been raising my manual stat, so... Seems like a whole lot more hip hop and like new metal and stuff on the soundtrack. Not so much with the pop punk and yeah, ska ish you know, type stuff. A year stuff. later, I think, the, you know, they probably saw this game become quite successful and they were like, hey, you know, maybe we have a little more variety or, you know. I wonder how calculated it was in terms of like, hey, you know, we, we want to change it up uh, for like business reasons. How much of it was just like, hey, you know, like, what do you want on the soundtrack? We can kind of get anything because it's a popular franchise now. Uh, saying Goldfinger was a case of circumstance more than artistic. <clears throat> no, he's saying Goldfinger sold out for cheap. They could have held out. Yeah. Um. You know, and and like hip hop has always had a place in skateboarding. Yep. Uh, Know, and soundtracks to skate videos and stuff like that. Like it, you know, it all does kind of fit together. Uh, you know, general disregard for authority. Yeah, sure. Ugh. Fucking sucking. Let's try, uh... I think this is something they eventually did. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something they eventually did later of, like, the idea of, like, if you start from zero on your special meter, you have to land a combo for it to register as full. 
Um, whereas later on, they would be like, oh, as you're doing your combo, it will fill up. So if you're doing a sufficient combo, even though you haven't landed it and earned any actual points, eventually you'll be special anyway. You're saying, you're saying this game took a turn for like the millennials. Yeah, they made it easy. They made it easy and made one make everyone feel special even if they weren't. Exactly. points to have right there. Can't do that in real life. Sure you can. One leg just sticking out in the air. Classic. Yeah, that's, you know, you're going to be doing kickflips here any day. Yeah. In this skate park of yours. Made, making trees. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, actual trees. Yeah. Chat, so I've, uh, you know. Chat was convinced they were just bushes. I was thinking bushes initially, but then I was like, what if I just like, uh -huh. you know, Yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe those are a little too tall. Yeah, they might be, you know, they could be like palm trees at that point. You know, like hot glue that trunk together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll let this probably warm up though. I unplugged it earlier. All right, let's move on. Venice Beach. Stone Paw Fox says, One time when I was unemployed, I drove 45 minutes to a Burger King and asked for a tender, crisp bacon cheddar ranch and was told they hadn't had that sandwich in over two years. That's a heartbreaking story. They should be. They have all those ingredients, though. Mm. You think? Bacon, cheddar, ranch. Tender. What, what, what defines tender crisp? Is that a specific Probably kind like of chicken? It's a. It's like a it's chicken. Like a, it's a, a chicken, crispy like chicken, chicken breast finger? sandwich. Well, what I mean is, yeah, is there anything special about it? Or no, I think they have the, that as a chicken sandwich all the time. It's just maybe they just don't have the special ones or whatever. Okay, I'll eat the magic bum five times. Like five spray cans, tail slide the Venice ledge, hit four VB transfers, and find the tape. Transfers. I don't think this stage was on. On GBA? GBA. Oh, you know what? I take back School 2 being my favorite stage of all time. It's Alcatraz in 3. Uh, I think Alcatraz is in 4. Level. 
That's a lot hot enough. Not hot enough blue. No. It's like a warm blue gun right now. Mm, happiness is a warm blue gun. <laughs> this is a very detailed fact. Is this Venice Beach? Yeah. How many more stages are there? I don't know. I'll check after this. We might not get through all of them today. Ooh. Beach. Or jump over stuff instead of onto stuff. Get that Ollie stat too high. Yeah, there's like no ASCII art in this fact. Let's go to level select and look and see how many levels are All left information. In, the, in the meaningful progression. But like, I haven't seen the yeah, second was, competition yet. So yeah, I was trying to find the level list in this fact, and it's. So Venice Beach, and then Skate Street is the second competition, I think. Oh, money unlocks levels. I wonder if I'm eventually going to need to go back and get some of those cash goals. Uh, then Philadelphia, and the oh, and then the bull ring, and then the bull ring is the last level uh, of the regular progression. You unlock other stuff. But, okay, so Venice Beach will unlock the second competition, and then Philadelphia, and then the bull ring. Right. And then that's it. Need two medals to unlock. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Philadelphia automatically unlocks when you finish Skate Street. Yeah, okay. Right. So we're getting there. And then there's like two secret levels, I think. The Chopper Drop and Skate Heaven. Uh, the phrase secret level does not appear in this fact, mm. so... Unless oh, I can't even afford a... No, I can. All right, time what to get those the, manuals up. What is the landing stat? So they added a, a thing in here where if you are making a big jump and falling a long way, a danger icon will appear on the screen, mm. and that signifies that you need to hit X on landing to land it. Okay. What's chat doing? Skate heaven? Skate heaven. Sorry, I, I'm not sure. I'm trying to, I'm desperately trying to find a list of levels in one of these fucking facts. Complete career mode 100% with every character except Private Carrera. This is a massive secret level set in space. Yeah, we can use, so I actually had a full, fully unlocked save on here that I erased before we started. Thanks. Uh, Rough. Uh, secrets. Wait, heaven, Chopper Drop Hawaii? Yeah, Chopper Drop is the Hawaii level. It's. I, I want to say Chopper Drop's like barely a level. Okay, I'm trying uh, to figure out which of these are. I think it's just Chopper Drop and Skate Heaven. Those are the two <clears> secrets. <throat> like Bull Ring is the last like real level, I think. Okay. Dang. Uh-oh. Sand in your shoes. I hate when that happens. Chat says we're doing good, Jeff. Thank you. Great. Bionic Commando asks Sean Bean in Hitman 2, cool or drool? I'm into it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Sean Bean seems like a good guy to be in the Hitman universe. Yeah, a dude who is often assassinated. Yeah. Or attempting to have someone assassinated.
weird. That was a weird one. Physics nonsense there. Okay, so spray cans. So you're spending a lot of time in this park. Do you feel that this is going to be an effective training ground for you to you hone your, your tech deck craft, your fingerboarding craft? What do you mean hone? I'm... I mean, like, master the art of it. I think I'm pretty mastered, honestly. This is going to be more of a chance to show off how good I am. Okay. All right. More than anything. That's like, I was doing some tricks earlier. I didn't want to show them yet because I wanted to do You don't want people them. to steal them. Yeah, and then it's like an artist can paint on a dumpster or he can paint on a canvas, which is more beautiful, you know? It's in the eye of the beholder. Wow, yeah. I had never considered that, but... Thank you for coming to my seminar. Thanks for having me. Uh... But yeah, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of different, like with skateboarding, there's a lot of different things you can learn to master with a fingerboard, like ollies, kickflips. Hell, I could probably even do a Benihana. The ultimate skateboarding trick. That's right. <clears throat> Time tested. Mother approved. Ah, uh, get it. <clears throat> Not a transfer. Dr. Robotnik's Sean Bean machine, says Shaggy. Says Shaggy? That's, yeah. That's the user. You came up with that masterpiece. Uh, thank you, Shaggy, for everything you've done. Work on your drop here. All right, there's a can over here, but I feel like I'm missing two, right? Okay, so where would I put a fourth can? That's probably the third one you're supposed to get. Oh, what? Karen A says, wow, even Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 was on PlayStation 1? Yeah, and then totally. I, and then I Googled it, and yeah. so yeah, they kept making these games for PS1? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, weird. Yeah. I assume they just moved on to PS2. And they bought uh, Shaba Games, who oh, yeah, developed Shaba Grind games. Session. Yeah. Uh, and then Shaba did the PS1 version of 3 uh, and probably 4. Did you guys continue covering those or was it just kind of leave? I think at some point we moved on. We yeah. may not have reviewed. Leave those behind. Yeah. Were they like kind of the same games? I mean, it Yeah, was it was like it was the, the same, same levels but like, you know, for memory concerns or yeah, whatever yeah, reason, course. you know, geometry would have to be different and um They're interesting in their own weird way. Like maybe we'll, you know, spend half an hour with like the PS1 version of some of these games or something. Okay, that's that one. And there's this one. Shaba games still exist? No. No, it does not. I mean, they were bought by Activision and who knows, they probably subsumed into Neversoft at some point. <clears throat> Trying to guess. Activision but... closed the studio in 2009. Oh. Or there's always that, I guess. In a grind session, Razor Freestyle Scooter. Also a good game. Uh, wakeboarding Unleashed featuring Sean Murray. Not a good game, I remember right. Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix for the PlayStation Portable. That was an okay version of Thug 2. You ever play that Disney? Mm -hmm. That was all right. Yeah. It was this engine, you know? It yeah. was just kind of... They made Shrek Super Slam, anybody? Oh, hell yeah. 
Shaba made Shrek Super Slam? Yep, Jesus. That, that's the Shrek game that... To end all Shrek games? Still to this day has a competitive, if you go to Shrek boards, which is a play on Smash boards, the popular Smash site, you see lively arguments about tier lists and whether or not Red Riding Hood should be banned from competitive play. Okay. Uh, where do you stand on this issue? I think she needs to be banned for the health of the game. Like, I, I, I think banning a character is always the absolute last thing you should do, but sometimes for a game to survive, it's the only thing. Hey, you got 200. I don't know. <laughs> and then Spider Man Web of Shadows was their last game. Mm. And then they got. Is that the uh, Wii game? Uh, this says it was on PS3, Wii, and 360. Okay. A 2.5D side-scrolling brawler slash platform. 2.5D doesn't exist. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's the DS version is, yeah. is, the, is the side scroller. I played that. It says the main the main web of shadows was a full 3D action and open world game. Okay. I played that DS game. It was not good. No recollection of Web of Shadows. That came out after this site. Yeah, I feel like I remember that was the one that like I remember had a bunch of trivia questions in it or something. Oh. Huh. Ah, Did we review that? We probably we may have. have reviewed that game. Seems like something we would have done. Uh, uh, yeah, three stars. Stats might be high enough for me to grab that secret tape the easy way now. If I remember. Did I just see the other one? Your left. T is like, up here. No, uh, yeah, yeah, but I think. Like, and then I bet, yeah, I bet the E is somewhere over there. Ugh. I think I'm gonna be over on the other side of this to get the E or the get the T rather. Just bounce around into walls like an idiot for a while. It's good too. Yeah. Okay. I want to say I can just like hit these tables hard and get enough air to get up there. Maybe I don't, maybe I don't have the speed for it. Uh, OBC Dexter says, did you guys know that the Korean version of this game featured a girl band as playable characters as well as seven songs of theirs on the soundtrack? Wow. That's cool. Yeah. I want to see what that looks like. Tony Hawk 2, Korean version. Uh, first thing I found was a YouTube thumbnail that says THPS2 Korean version? And a guy going, mm. Oh, we all need to do that for Jan's thumbnail. Tony Hawk 2 American version? <laughs> <laughs> I pooped my pants at a Sabaro? No question there. That just happened. All right, I found the T. Uh, got a minute to find this E. Wait, did we get it right? I have to go like this. And try to get up there that way, or I'll skate around the side way. And it's over here somewhere. 
some money. That, that's bad. That's sand. Alright, we need to figure out where this E is. I thought I saw it. Uh, when you run that, like, rooftop, I swear. I think it's gotta be over... Well, you, you kinda air off of there to get the T. So I'm not sure what that means for the E. Still looking rock bells. Are the letters blue or yellow? We'll never know. Okay. All right. Wrecking onto these rooftops. I'm really bummed out by the direction that they're taking Wreck It Ralph, where it's just like an internet guy now instead of video games. Did yeah. you see that movie? This movie? No. Wreck It Ralph? No. Sometimes it's hard for me to see video game material when yeah. it exists in that Was Wreck-It Ralph the one with the real video game characters in it? Yes. And then wasn't there another one around the same time that had fake video game characters? Was that Pixels? Or was yes. that totally? Pixels that also had Pac-Man in it though, didn't it? That's the... Yeah, I think it had Pac-Man, but that was... Yeah. I feel like I should watch Pixels because I just can't imagine it being... There it is. Does that something to do with Adam Sandler? Yeah, Adam Sandler's in that movie. He's the star of that movie. Is that the second time he's been involved in a video game related movie? What was the other one? Grandma's Boy? He's not in Grandma's Boy, though. Is he not in that? He just, like, uh, produced like it or something? production company. That's, like, it's all of Adam Sandler's friends are right. in that movie. Right. <laughs> I remember that being how that was pitched to us. It's got all of Adam Sandler's friends in it. Oh, cool. They're good. Yeah, it's good. Just wait till we show you grown-ups. Please don't show me grown-ups. Okay, what about grown ups too? Yeah, I'm in. All right, I'm gonna run to the restroom one more time here. Okay. Ben, can we get Clear. a status check on the skate park? Yes, sir. What's happening over there? So. I see a couple of happy little trees. The trees took a long time, yeah. I figured no art project is complete without some happy little trees. It's a little hard to tell. Get out of here. It's a little hard to tell in the light, but these are definitely all green um, with no white at all in them. I applied one tree here. I didn't want to put the other tree down just yet because I don't mm. know exactly what the other half of this Work. thing is going to look like. Um, Jan supplied a secret tape Whoa. made out of tape, wow. which I think is an incredible detail. That's a, that's a nice touch. Um, and I've started to work on my very own collectible Oh, suite. great. Okay. Um, I thought that was going to be some kind of signage, but that's way better. And I'll, I'll have these, you know, throughout the park here. Okay. Uh, as far as collectibles, that's all we're going to go for so far. It's I'm, I'm just really kind of psyching myself out on this half pipe. Mm. I feel like that's going to be the hardest part to construct. Um, I don't even know what you would make that out of. Luckily, this cardboard rolls fairly well. Okay. So, like, I feel like if I get a long enough piece, you know, because it's kind of, like, pleated a little bit, and each of these pleats kind of bends. Mm. So I figure if you get a long enough ramp... Up, you can kind of make a nice, not exactly smooth, but smooth enough for a tech deck. Yeah, sure. Which doesn't require like the a perfect flat surface. Um, I'm gaining a whole new appreciation for the folks that make skate parks. It's a lot harder than like, you, would, you would think it is. Like real life ones. Yeah, because mm. there's a lot of things to take into consideration yeah. about just like layout, you know, optimal fun. Yeah. Cause like transition from thing to thing. Yeah, right. So I'm gonna grind like, I, in my mind, I'm gonna have a complete loop you take. Really, yep. that's like kind of gonna be like the high score loop where you kind of start on this and then maybe you do like a maybe you just hold on like a flip onto this 
Around the bowl. Around the bowl. Into the other bowl. It, it, oh, God. Oh, no. This tree is, like, fucked. Oh, no. Hmm. Mm. I'm going to have to move that tree. I have, have, to, have to uproot that tree. Ah! I need hey. to do some botany. That's what some, it's called, some, right? Some gardening taking place over here. And, uh, yeah, actually, oh, that's cool. Now it's just ripped off the bottom part of the cardboard, so I have a flatter surface to apply into the next place. I need to really get in here, though. It's starting to come undone. Um, going to pipe it in. Yeah, Back pipe, to it, you, Jeff. pipe it up. All right. I just want to give a special shout-out mm -hmm. to whoever keeps clogging up the... Uh, toilet here on the first floor with what? toilet paper. Whoever keeps the... stuffing the stall with as much toilet paper as they can oh, find. Oh, it's the big bathroom. Uh, no, no, the, not, not the, the handicap. Not the handicap bathroom. The the like the, that's what I mean. Yeah, the stall the here. Side, some wow. Jeez, like that's... multiple days in a row, I've walked in there just that's to bold. handle some quick business, not some some lengthy business, and been like, why is it just it's just stuffed with toilet paper? There's nothing below it that you know of. That I know of. It flushes all right down when it flushes. So I don't. You're not. Even, a, you're not doing a good job of clogging the toilet. Mm. One, what do you... Is that something you really want to excel at, though? What do you do? Yeah, I would like to be a pro... Who would... If I could... Uh, Jeff Gerstmann's pro toilet clogger? I would, that'd be a video game. I would play that. It's a twine game. So, sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we spelled skate. Uh, we got to get 200,000 points. We, gotta, uh, we have to find Ollie and Ollie him five times. Uh, we have to figure out what the Venice ledge is and tail slide it. I think it's over with that little walkway area. I mean, I do have this fact here. We have to hit these four VB transfers. We got to get that tape. Uh, phrase tail slide does not appear in this document. Might be two words or something. Yeah, that's what I did. Just uh, try oh, Venice ledge. One word is how it's spelled yes. here. That's how it's spelled in the go the goal in the game as well. I haven't encountered the clogged toilet yet. What are you implying? Oh. I think maybe he's saying it wasn't clogged when he got there. And, uh, yeah. And, and I don't then, usually look at the toilet when I leave it. And so. then when he rapidly fled the scene, it was as yet still unclogged. Whatever happened after... Well, I didn't do it! Whatever happened... No, I'm saying whatever happened after he was gone, he does not know. Maybe it's the same people who come down here and steal our bagels. Oh, I get, why do I get irrationally angry about that? It's not irrational. And like the thing is, we keep growing down here. GameSpot's constantly adding new hires, so it's like yeah. even harder to get a bagel now. I mean, the main reason is that we pay for them, you know? It's not like they conjure out of thin air. Like we spend budget on, on bagels every week. I hit this transfer. And Although failing miserably, I, I do enjoy the sheepish look on the face of many of the people who come down here from the other floors and take the bagels. Dan and I were over there last Friday, I think, and there was a guy who very obviously was not from around here. Neither of us recognized him, and he finished his bag. He like finished preparing his bagel and then walked like towards the podcast. Room. And we were like, oh, maybe he's new or something. But then we didn't. We were staying in the kitchen for a while, did not see him. We didn't see exactly where he went, but like, if you want to look like you work down there, you just walk towards not where the exit is. Yeah. I'm making quite the mess over here, but it's all at least contained. Kind of a debate raging in chat right now about what the worst Pixar movie is. The worst Pixar movie? Yeah. Cars 2. Cars 3. Wow. Okay. Chat seems to have it down between Brave and The Good Dinosaur. Never Ooh, mind. The Good, good dinosaur, dinosaur is a garbage movie. <laughs> Brave was fine. I've never even heard of that. It, like, is... It was the movie that there were headlines around its release that, like, children were running out of the theater crying. Which one? Good Dinosaur? Good Dinosaur. What? Was the dinosaur not good? He was a terrible son. Do they all go extinct at the end? His dad does because of him. Ow. Jeez. Okay, good job. Little uh, dinosaur. And we all know that the best DreamWorks movie is The Cruise. That's not up for debate. 
I thought maybe I could get. Maybe you can. Maybe if I hit this just right, that gets me there. I forget. Is this a lip I can hit? No. Wait. Numerous people are now saying it's Planes. Did they make a movie called Planes? Yes, it's in the Cars universe. Well, yeah, of course. Man, how did I, like... <laughs> Am I just that unplugged from pop culture now that I don't know of the existence of multiple Pixar movies? Or did Pixar stop mattering as much as they used to? Well, probably, probably both. both. Yeah, okay. Certainly to you, Pixar matters well, yeah, less, because I mean, you, know, I mean, you, would, you would keep up on it if it was something you're still... Yeah, but you still, you know, if it's, if it's that big of a cultural event, you just sort of absorb it. It's kind of the awesome thing about, like, cord cutting at all is this feeling of just like, I don't know what the fuck's <laughs> out, I don't give a shit. Yep. I keep track of what I keep track of, music and video games. There's some good TV out there. Probably, yeah, I don't care. I just, I, it's, I, I can never maintain interest over the course of a full season of a thing. As much as I like might want to, like I started watching The Blacklist and liking it. Uh. Some good TV out there. Yeah, I've heard it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, well, I don't know, I didn't watch the rest of it. Uh, but I watched, you know, we, we sat, we watched a season and a half of it or something, you know, like two and a half seasons or something. And then, Got busy and did something else, and we just never made it back to it. It was like, oh, I don't know, there was a fire, and there was a doll, and there was something, and he's, she's probably his daughter, but what? but probably, but they're fronting like it's not, but like, I bet it's, I bet, I bet it's really, I bet it really is. And I, I never discovered, there we go. You'll never know. I like to tell myself that someday I will know. <laughs> That someday I will have fucking the time uh, to just like I'm gonna know we're gonna get back to Blacklist and and get through it. And Blacklist always sounded to me like something that was good to have on. Oh, there's like enough fucking weird shit to it that if you're all, you're watching it and not paying attention, that you would be completely fucking lost. All right, I'm a big fan. What? Better Call Saul this season was incredible. I, I have seen a couple people even say that they think it's better than Breaking Bad at this point. Uh, well, yeah, it's like, it's it's easy. I feel like it's a much more grounded story, so it's gonna be easier to get like really emotional. How watchable is Better Call Saul if you didn't watch Breaking Bad? Oh, incre very. Mm -hmm. that, was the, that was the thing I watched like two or three episodes of. Like the first two or three episodes, because man, it's like they gave Bob Odenkirk a TV show. Yeah, I mean, feel like obligated to watch it. <laughs> I mean, he's in Breaking Bad quite a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, like um, he, he definitely gets his time. But I just, I can't. I don't know something about a meth show. Uh, it's, it's, it's not really about the meth. It's enough about the. I don't know. It's, it's. <clears throat> there's, there's like next to no meth use. Like I can. It's not the use. It's just something about the goings on and the business mm -hmm. around meth mm -hmm. is like at some point. This says something about me. I know those people. Mm. I don't want to fucking see a TV show about those people. Sure. Uh, yeah, it gets into it's that. It's fucking disgusting. Little, like, it gets into the like the the people a little bit, but it's more about like the big operation of like, yo, this is a crimes. Huge, this is like a big meth. Like we're supplying all the meth to like Albuquerque, the, like this region yeah. of the United States. Yeah, like and the cartels get involved and stuff. You know? Yeah. Uh, Barry was very good. Barry. The Bill Hader show, he just won an Emmy oh. for it. He plays a assassin who gets swept up into an acting class on a gig and decides that he wants to become an actor. Mm. It's quite good. So is it like he's acting while dealing with the ramifications of having once been an assassin? It's yeah, like he's like- showing up he, trying he, to kill him. He was like a soldier and so he has PTSD and stuff and- uh, what's his name? Who's the guy in every, uh... Is it a cop? They, and they're like playing PTSD for laughs? No, that's... Me, that's okay, that's, all right, okay. It's more of a drama than a comedy. <laughs> okay, oh, all right. He's all right. just funny in it because okay. he's a... Because he's blatant. Yeah. Uh, who's the dude who's... Steven Root is his, like, shitty handler. Okay. Who's very good. That sounds good. See, I've never even heard of that show. <laughs> yeah, same. <clears throat> no idea. Barely remember who that dude is. <laughs> he's, um... The one in Office Space who wants a stapler. He's an every, the guy uh, in Office Space, the video game, uh, who fiction. when you reset and prestige, you uh, burn the office down and get a currency that is little staplers. What? There's an idle game based on Office Space. Oh, wow, what? 
think I've seen that movie once. Is, wait, is, is Gus in Better Call Saul? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Huh. Alright. I'm just skating around aimlessly now. I should, uh, maybe I'll find Ollie. I keep meaning to watch The Good Place. Yep, and that's then, good. And then don't. Probably fix that. It's a very delightful it's, sitcom. I was, I was gonna say, it sounds... A, it sounds like a nice pick-me-up. B, it sounds like the rare example of a sitcom I can actually stand. Uh, Ted Danson's fantastic. Just staff oh, nothing, just Ted Danson's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, Ted Danson is really like... What am I trying to say here? Become a national treasure? Like, like embraced a second career? Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, really sort of... I don't know. He's like, look, I'm a... I'm a handsome old guy now, and I'm gonna really play that up, and just like chill and be in these yogurt commercials or whatever. Yeah, sure. I mean, I guess I guess what I mean is he has, like, kind of grown beyond the Sam Malone persona. Yeah. I never watched that. I didn't really that much either, but that's just, you know... Whoa. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I have, to, I have to... Ollie the Magic Bum warps around between these five pieces of cardboard around the level. Okay. And I have to find him in the right order and Ollie over him. Something tells me that maybe wouldn't fly today. Maybe it doesn't age super well. Yeah. All right, where's the fifth spot? Not here. Well, crap. Bet it's, uh, wait, was that? You guys excited for the big Oktoberfest party that's happening mm. in a couple minutes? What? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sign up to make your own beer stein? No. Uh. It's like you don't even read the company emails. Huh. It's like that. You're right. It is sort of it is sort of like that. Telling me you didn't read this company email, apply for your 2019 intern. Jan and I are gonna apply for an intern. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> oh, just get over him. There we go. I love the smell of wet cardboard. Do you do you really? Yeah. And you got a little bit of marker fume in here? Okay, alright, now I'm yeah, now I hear you. I think it's because I ate a lot of paper as a child. And it smells similar to wet paper. It is a cardboard is a form of paper, I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's very important. True. Let's say until middle school, I ate a lot of paper as a child. Mm. And then one time, all it takes is getting caught one time. Change you. Apparently, apparently we have a character page for Ollie the Magic Bum. Yeah, uh, he became a hidden skater. Uh, oh yeah, look at that, he's in like six games. Tell me where Ollie the Magic Bum's fifth position is. Mm, okay. If you will. Uh, Ollie the... Ollie the Hydrants. Yo. There we go. I don't know which ones you haven't done. Uh, they happen in a set order. Oh, okay. So 
I just need the fifth one. Magic Bum 5 will be sleeping just to the left of the kinked ledge at the starting point of the level. Chad doing? Uh, talking about eating paper. Other paper eaters out there? Um, it's okay, guys. It's a safe space. I've eaten paper on a dare. Uh, I didn't like. Was it the? I was also briefly a paper eater. Was it the, that Botan rice candy? Is great, but oh, yeah. uh, but the whole thing of like, yeah, it just comes in like a wax paper you can just eat. I think is so nasty. Ops hate it when you eat paper. Cops hate it? My, <laughs> my it, brother used to make cinnamon paper to eat. <laughs> okay. I never went for the gourmet paper. You know, put a little butter on there, cinnamon and sugar, put it in the oven. Uh, this paper has chives and a little garlic. And chai. Chives. Chai and chives. Oh. There he is. The Venice Ledge, we need to hit these transfers. I think I found two of the transfers. Um, see if you can tell me where the Venice Ledge is. Is that, is that the VB transfers? Or no, is that separate? Uh, tail slide the Venice Ledge. Oh, oh, oh. There are two ways to get to the Venice Ledge. Okay. Turn left at the start of the level, head down the slope next to the kinked ledge. We end in the area with the quarter pipe where you get, where you got the first spray can. Mm -hmm. Up over the wall at the far right corner to land on a hidden path going around the building. Right. This will lead to the secret area. I want to say that that's the area right here. The far right corner to land on a hidden path going around the building. There it is, the ledge. Get it. All right. And now, actually, the right thing to do would be to do that, get my timer back, uh, and probably spend some money on some more stats. Hey, must be the money. Career A is all about the money. This game feels good compared to the first game. Uh, it feels like the frame rate is maybe a little more consistent. Mm. Uh, that was something that surprised me going back last time and, and playing the first game was it just seemed a little choppy, a little more choppy than I remember for sure. Uh, right, I feel like- But the draw distance on this seems- there's a general choppiness when it comes to PS1. And yeah, I was going to say, I can't think of a lot of games with like amazing frame rates on this console. Like, were there even any like, racing or fighting games? 60 FPS on this thing? Toe Ball, I guess. Yeah, Toe Ball 2. Toe Ball and 60. number one. I think Toe Ball 1 also. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Battle Arena Toshin 3 had a, mm. a toggle. You could choose whether you wanted like a textured 30 or a flat shaded 60. Huh. It's Weird. cool. <laughs> Weird. So if you have a PS1 Pro. Yeah. Oh, of course, sure. Uh, After these streams, you're somewhat of a PS1 Pro yourself. Why, thank you. Uh, Sweet JP says, Gran Turismo is 60 FPS, isn't it? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at it, yeah. honestly. It's, uh, somebody else. It's been a long time. Somebody else asked if Air Guides was. Mm. God bless the ring.
Can't wait to play Air Guides on Ranking of Fighters, says another. I can't wait either. <laughs> uh. Got a new Ranking of Fighters coming up. That's right. Some bangers. Some games. I don't even remember what one of them was. Is that not one of them? Is that one of the VB transfers? Do these all, can you do these in any order? Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be harder. Uh, how many do you have? That's, that's gotta be one. I don't know, I don't think any of them have rang up, which is weird, because I could have sworn that one of them I did was definitely one of them. I think this is one of them. One of them is in the secret area, this says. Oh, it's this, is it this side, the easier side, skinny transfer, VB skinny transfer. Okay, so they all, it's four gaps that save VB. Oh, okay. On them. Right, then. There's that one, there's this one. Getting there. Is this one? No. It's just West Side Transfer. Maybe you should just stop there. Perhaps spelling out Sky is more noble than spelling out Skate. I think so. Whew. All right, so we found two of our transfers. Perhaps we'll find the rest of them next time. We're gonna call it. Gonna call it Tony Hawk 2 Part 1, because there's something I want to look at here before we move on. We have time for one more question? Yeah, absolutely. Mere Immortal asks, where did the idea of 60 frames per second as a standard come from? Is that an NTF, uh, NTSC thing? Is that like the highest refresh that... It might be that can do yeah, or honestly, something. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, is it that? Yeah, is it the TVs? Oh yeah, yeah. Some some people are now chiming yeah. in. The TVs could like 60 hertz was the highest they can go. Right. Uh, here we go. Whoa. Okay. We'll look at Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX uh, another day, but. There's a demo for it on this disc. This, you know, Tony Hawk 2 and this era represents the time when Activision saw a lot of big dollars in extreme sports and they, you know, this is one year later. RuneCraft? RuneCraft, developers of what? Matt Hoffman. Okay. Um, Matt Hoffman. Okay. One year later, they were already like, we could do a BMX game? We could do, like, you know, they, they eventually had like the O2 line like EA Sports Big or EA Sports, Activision had Activision O2, which was their... Uh, yeah, I remember that gold rush. You know, and then they did that wakeboarding game and all that other stuff. Oh, yeah. God. Let's go with Matt Hoffman. He's like, the I mean, there, test there, pilot and yeah, founder there, of Hoffman was, Bikes. There was like the whole line of like, like sports stars pro blank, right? Like, yeah. Didn't they do a whole... Kelly Slater's pro surfing? Right, yep. yeah, like a whole slew of those. And, right? the, you know, Ubisoft eventually did those... Uh, Sean Murray games? No, Sean Murray. Uh, uh, Sean. I would. Ah, uh, the tomato guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sean, Sean White. White. Sean White. Yes. So I would play a Sean Murray mm. snowboarding or skateboarding. Yes. Game. Absolutely, one hundred percent. He's an affable dude. It would take place in space. Have you seen what Sean White looks like now? No. Should I? I mean, he looks like a fucking. Did he old go man. all carrot? Oh, I was gonna ask if he went all carrot top and got all super buff. No, he just looks like a dad, and it's weird. <laughs> Doesn't look that old. Maybe it's just because he was so like. He's 32. How old are you? 28. I guess pretty close. I mean, I guess I'd like. I mean, he was like the face of cool, like teen. Face of cool. I mean, like, I guess this is classic Sean White, right? Like, yeah. just a giant mop of hair. Yeah, like he lost the mop of hair and he has like a yeah. pompadour now. Yeah, he's just got a very kind of stylish haircut. Does he do anything? Is he still snowboard? Is snowboarding a thing? Snowboarding is still a thing. 
That's as much as it ever is. was. Yeah. Maybe less than it ever was. Yeah, same. I think those were later, weren't they? I feel like the Sean White games were kind of yeah, after, they, they the, were, like yeah. way after the Tony Hawk craze. There was those were the 360 games, right? Yeah, so I mean, you know, this game is fairly similar <laughs> to Tony say, Hawk control-wise. It's very much that with bikes. More pet, more leg movement. Do you know if uh, you've never soft had any sort of oversight or like input on this I at all? I don't think so, but I, I guess I don't know. Huh. I mean, I imagine this is like, hey, here's our engine. That's what, yeah, I wonder if they even uh, shared technology and, and we'll stuff. give you, uh, you know, some support as you work with it, some tools you level support. a guy support. named Randy you can call if you've got any questions. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, it was, you know, we weren't even a year in and we were off to the races with this whole genre and yep. the expansion just like blowing up of it. Grind Session came out in that gap. This this came along not long after. Who published Grind Session? Uh, Sony. It was first oh. party Sony. Oh. And, uh, hmm. you know, Dave Mira, Claim had the Dave Mira games. Right. Uh, pretty, though that was also pretty early on. Uh, and, and the genre really just kind of blew out from there for yeah. a few years. And then it just contracted all over again to just kind of, hey, we got Tony Hawk. <laughs> I mean, nothing else ever really caught on that well, right? No. Besides like Skate the, did okay. Yeah, well, yeah, later. Skate was Skate, skate was later, was later and, and, and kind of its own thing. You know, it, this this was, you know, there was Gravity Games, Street Vert, Dirt, that Midway put out in the, the most limited way possible. Like at the last minute, they dumped all their copies at Costco. <laughs> Wow. Uh, or something, because it was, it was hard to find anywhere else. They, don't, forget, don't forget BMX Triple X. Oh, and I would never forget BMX Triple X. There's a reason this is a premium series. My mom wouldn't let me rent BMX Triple X. Well, I got good news for you. You know, somewhere down the line, we're going to show it. Don't tell my mom. Don't tell Ben's mom. Don't tell my mom. But we're going to get to BMX Triple X, and there's going to be a real hot episode of this show that is terrible, because BMX Triple X is fucking terrible. I would believe it. We need to figure out which version to show. I think I want to say, I want to show the nastiest version mm. possible. And I think that's the PS2 version. That you see. Tony's modded version. Yeah, I think you could go bottomless in Whoa. the PS2 version, but not GameCube or Xbox. Let's see. I forget Let's if see. it was Sony that was just like, go for it. Uh, <laughs> These graphics look like shit anyway. No one's going to even know. Sounds like it's the reverse. In the GameCube is bottomless? In North America, while the game is available uncensored on the GameCube and Xbox, all naked all naked breasts are covered in the PlayStation 2 version. Okay, huh. So we gotta play that game. I thought that there was a bottomless thing though too that was only on uh, one version. I guess I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, it's a long it's been a long time. Let's see, BMX. Progressive X. Inline. That's a fantastic oh, yeah. video game. Uh, one of the few that really mm. stands out all these years later. Uh, was that really the, is that really the box art for that game? Yeah, it was just a black box, you know, just with BMX Triple X written on it. Yeah, they, they, and then okay. you turned it around and looked at the back, and there was a lady in like a bikini. Yeah, yeah. it's like oh fuck. And then they sold it to you in a brown paper bag, and you, they should have done that. I was, was going to say, with did it. they actually do no, that? Because that would almost. I mean, be a, kind of... maybe the UK, right? A claim in the UK had all their weird uh, marketing ideas about like we'll buy your headstone. If, if you name your kid Shadow Man, or, you know, there was like some, they did a bunch of dumb shit where they were like, hey, burnout's coming out, we're going to pay all your speeding tickets. Okay, sure. Or something like that. Yeah. And just like all sorts of weird, stupid ad campaigns they ran over there. Sure. You collected skate. It's an S. This S could be cooler. <laughs> How about this one? That's a cool S. Yeah, that's a cool S. That's Ska. Is that Ska? No, this is Skate. Scat? Scat. MC Scat? Yeah. No. We'll be back next time. We'll finish up Tony Hawk 2. And then maybe get into some grind session, you know, with the the whatever we got left or, you know, uh, and... And move on from there. And uh, Ben, I want to see some of these uh, tech deck tricks you're talking about. Yeah. You say you're a master. I want to see it in action. Uh, one of these days here. Yeah. So. One, once the skate park's done, then I can really show off. Yeah, you gotta get that half pipe on there. 
Oh yeah, definitely. Gonna need a what? Oh shit! I didn't realize you could get That's that high. Serious air. Oh, I can get real high. All right, well we'll get real high next time. Thanks everybody for watching. I dropped it.